so I'm just gonna fill in the blank till you answer. No, uh, it's a. Uh, is it on? Yeah, it's on. Oh damn it! No, no. Did I, I say anything? What are you talking about? No, no, yeah. So. Oh. oh, he just asked if I like the podcast. I was like, yeah. So, uh, his name's not Jonathan. What's your name? No, 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 Jacoby. No, I am sorry. I'm, oh, you're not sorry. sorry. No, I do not care. Less. Yeah, I could care less. less. I'm full blown dumb though. So, I'm, but I'm really not sorry about that. That's his dumb. way out right there. No, it's, it's, every time. Tom's way out. I'm an idiot. This is my way out. 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 This is my So, anyway, okay. Oh, well. Yes. Let's do you it. have seen past episodes of what is this called again? The un- the UNG Odyssey podcast. UNG. Yeah. What I, do you think? I watch honest opinion. Um, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Right. That's never good. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate well, your goods. Well, okay. So it's the short answer is not the shit whack. Like I'm not. That's not the uh, the answer. Mm-hmm. Um, the shit kind of whack. <laughs> it's uh. I would say uh. More form would not hurt. You know what I mean? Having specific talking points oh. would definitely not kill. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like if you have a guest Killing on... Killing the recipe. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> the recipe is, is chaos. It is chaos. This is chaos. chaos. Well, you can have a This is real world order. shit. Here, here's no. the thing. Here's order the thing. is for armies. We have had episodes where we specifically talk about... Lies. He's mostly lying. a certain Look thing. Like we did a fucking gump. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and but it was like it was like an MMA based podcast. New and he loves doing that shit. <laughs> it's like three minutes in. God damn it. <laughs> um so but for the most part, we do have a bunch of comics on. Mm-hmm. And we you know well, I mean with comics it's hard to stay on topic without making silly you know, silly aspects of what we're talking about no, i get that um well what i'm thinking is that like so like much like when making a joke you have the premise and then it can yeah. go like a million different ways yeah. in theory like i think it should be like like if you're having fun with a with a with a side track yeah you know don't like just stray from it of course but i'm thinking like <laughs> like you you have the topic and then like if you feel like it's like i feel like we're kind of getting to the end of this mm-hmm. idea then you can like hey i have so i have a I have this list of premises or whatever, and then, uh, you know, it's like, hey, so what about this? You know what I mean? And then, you know, you give people... No, I have thought about doing that, but then I... I think you just described the show, though, because that's what we do. We talk about something till it's <coughs> funny, till it's hilarious, and then it's not funny, and then it's like, we kill it a little bit, but at the same time, he's all like, oh, what about this? Well, I also <laughs> don't want to bring up the same subject with every comedian, every, he, comic, he every that guest that we have comedy. coming mm-hmm. on. Cause then it kind of gets repetitive. There was a couple times where we started talking about our backgrounds and it got repetitive. Yeah, well, I mean, you've repeated for, your background, or like you know, back back stories. You know? I would say for for a lot of uh, like uh, the comics or, or people that almost. come on here, this is like the first time that they've, I guess, had like an interview like this, if you mm-hmm. will. So like an introduction, I wouldn't say it's a bad idea. You know, it's like, hey, so just uh, standard procedure. You know, tell us like this, this, and this, and then they can go into more detail yeah. and you know. So I haven't so even gotten forward. to the introduction yet. We're already like 10 minutes into the podcast. Eh, it doesn't matter. Free form, yeah, right? I like <laughs> Chaos. It. I love it. I love free form. Just a dog chasing cars. Whenever we're ready. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now... A dog chasing cars. Now, <laughs> since we've yeah, already started... We are doing Joker quotes now. <laughs> yeah, I saw Dark Knight recently yeah, again. Like that, yesterday? Uh, what do you mean recently again? When was the last I've time you've seen I've watched that movie it? a lot okay, of times. Before okay. you've seen it this last time, when was the last time you saw it before that? A couple years. I watched it. Can I do the goddamn introduction? so good. No, you can't. We're talking about... About the Dark Knight. No. It's more important Stop. than your life right now. Stop. You can jump out the window and die, and I'd be like, Stop. Dark Knight, buddy. Bro, did that you see that one part? <laughs> and this I got is sad. Why. I got sad when they stopped showing him. There's like 30 yeah. more minutes into the movie at the end of the movie, and it's like, where is the Joker? This is why. Yeah, they didn't really no, kind of tie that up. Care. It's like he's just hanging, and then they show the cops, like, ah, we got you. And then <laughs> this episode of the UNG Odyssey <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, just a lot. <laughs> is brought to you by people who don't know how to shut the fuck up for an introduction. Uh, Jeez, this is really February February the seventeenth of two thousand nineteen. Yes. Episode who knows Why how are you many. The date. Uh, if you. <sighs> Or, uh, two. We're trying to be professional he here. He does that every freaking time. <laughs> um, this is from the future. Yes. <laughs> Tell him a future date and see and if they believe it. What else was I going to say? I don't even know what I'm going to say anymore. Anyway, is anybody I'm your, here? I'm your host, uh, Unz. And then How's it going, blank screen? Local DFW comic, also known as Rudy Ramsey on stage. My co-host, Gump. What and 
Today's guest is uh, local DFW comic Noah Jacoby. Noah, nice to meet you, Noah. Yes, nice no. to meet you. Noah. A smaller guy than him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, None no. of it matters. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. Uh, I didn't even get you like any water or anything before you came in. Uh, would you like a sip of my water. beer? Uh, would you want a sip of my beer? <laughs> I also got I appreciate the, the hospitality, for sure. Um, and then, Okay. Wait, I'm not drinking beer, right? No, no, you can drink them. You just can't say you're drunk. No. Yes. Um, yes. What was I going to say? I don't even know what I'm going to say anymore. Don't. Underage kids? Yeah. They're listening? Yeah, underage kids. <laughs> They're always watching. we got to watch out for all the 12-year-olds. Damn underages. <laughs> so back to like the topic of what you are saying of, of the podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. it, 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 we do go off the wall a lot because we kind of... It's. I don't want it to make it seem like it's like all strict and based on one certain thing or mm-hmm. certain things but I feel like also when we kind of just go with the flow people actually tend to open up more yeah open up more and be yeah. okay yeah, to talk more because there's there's some comments where like they came on they're like I don't know if I want to say that like dude say it like say what right, yeah, they it. always say that before yeah. they say it yeah. uh, I don't know if I should dude who the fuck is listening we got blank screen over here <laughs> yeah, and dum dum well so that's here. the thing though we got, that, number two. we got that uh, time travel and outrage stuff right what is that mm-hmm. oh yeah, so yeah, yeah so it's you know how Kevin but nobody's got, been nobody if anybody should worry about time traveling and watching this shit it's people watching me and how dumb I am. But no, no, no. <laughs> so you should be yeah. the most concerned. Yeah, I should be the most concerned. Exactly. <laughs> See, the thing is, no one's never, ever like crossed any lines to where. Well, maybe not so much, but maybe a little. It's never know. anything that's actually bad though. When you no. actually hear them say it, it'd be like, uh, um, Anna, Anna Ansa, Anna Ansa. And they're inside. Do you know her? Mm-hmm. Little short Hispanic girl. Like a oh, uh, uh, she weighs like a like a buck. Ten, she she maybe. talks about getting her ass hit by a dog. That I one. I think so. I'm oh, not sure. I like her more but now. <laughs> she talked about how like she, she didn't want to talk about it, and then she was like, "Oh, well, there was one time when I was a kid. I think my mom was having sex behind me with her boyfriend, and I didn't want to turn around." And I was like, "Well, that's it." And she's like, "Yeah." I was like, so you didn't turn around to see what was going on? She was like, "No." And I was like, well, you never really knew if they're having sex or not. The yeah, it could have been a tape awesome recorder, you know? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like, oh, yeah, I didn't know, but like, I don't know how you decipher. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> tape recorder or a dog. I've heard dogs <laughs> make mean, weird if noises. If you're a kid, you think you'd be like, hey, <laughs> what the hell? Or I yeah, get, a 12 year old's like, walk out of the bro, room. what are yeah. you doing? Get up and walk out, right? I mean, I remember one time I walked into my. It's the, it's that whole um, and her, R. Kelly thing all over again. Move out of the way if you don't like it in your face. Uh, but they like it. I don't know if that's one. To, I don't know if that's one. To one. I don't know if that's exact. No, that is exact. <laughs> Solid comparison. She did, hey, that girl didn't have to just stand there and look at it. That's fair. Now I, uh, I guess speaking of walking in on moms, I, uh, I guess it's hard for a kid because, like, what do you do? Like, I was walking down the hallway towards my mom's because I, I wanted to ask her something and I just heard the distant sound of like cheeks getting clapped yeah and oh I like, Jesus yeah, and Christ. I was just like well I'm 13 I'm just gonna turn around and save myself yeah you did the duck getting <laughs> shot right <laughs> When yeah. he gets shot, it goes ping and falls the other way. Not going <laughs> that way, because I'm getting shot going that way. <laughs> you just hear the... Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what she performance was watching, going on. She was watching comedy, and she really enjoyed... <laughs> rhythmic the applause. Pr- Either that, or she was trying to learn how to twerk and butt clap. And... See, that's worse, though. I don't know how that's better. I don't no, know why that's that... definitely not because worse. Because it's on video, See? and she's just in there going, hmm. Seeing your mother getting sexually... <laughs> Penetrated is a lot yeah, worse. I don't know what the clapping. whole idea of the butt clapping is about. Anyway, they're just standing there, bouncing up and down till their fat hits itself and makes a well, noise. Well, it's it's the it's, it's entertaining. Well, it's the fact that and like, this is how I know you're not how straight. Is it entertaining? <laughs> it's, it's so that you might see whole. Like that's all that. It, like is that what it is? Well, yeah, when they're cheating. That's what you get like, from so it. You <laughs> might see I'm, whole. I'm looking at <laughs> I'm studying <laughs> twerking videos like ah. Uh, uh, Hole it. A time card. Let's see. 136. Is it, yes. Is it so, Screenshots. There was hole. Saved. No, no screenshot. Is it like That's you, against is the rules. Is it rules. like until you can I, see I the Hershey's kisses? Told to erase. Yeah. Do what now? Is it like, is it to where you can see the Hershey's kisses mark? Yeah. Hope not. Like you know, we yeah, hope yeah, that Hershey's they use wet wipes. Bubble. You know, like. Not if she's got a bleached one. You yeah, would. They, I would doubt that they would get girls that are like. Like they twerk and then they the, the the editing guys like hey oh well, we gotta edit out we gotta Photoshop out these Hershey Kisses this is not good yeah. I doubt that they would let that happen is there any Dalmatian uh, Hershey's Kisses on some of that Dalmatian yeah you know like a spot here a spot there I certainly oh hope sometimes I've seen some 
don't know. <laughs> where, where would you... <laughs> I certainly hope. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I would imagine they get more professional clientele for these twerking videos. Professional strippers. You're asking for too much, buddy. You're I don't right. think so. I, don't ah, think so. Not, probably, I think probably. if we go to Georgia, I think I'll find exactly who Georgia. I gotta I go that far? God damn. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna get the AIDS, fellas. Uh, <laughs> I gotta travel. So, since we haven't talked much about you as a person, or as your comic life goes, and this is sure. what we do, we're a comedy based podcast. Mm. How long have you been doing comedy? You haven't been doing it that long, right? Yeah, since November of last year. Um, You're pretty fresh off the scene, right? Yeah, I uh, I keep saying that because I uh, really don't want to do the math yet on that. I think it's three, mm. four months. That's the way to go. Yeah, estimated. So yeah, it's mo- it. recent enough to where it's like, yeah, since like since November of last year. So yeah. Yeah, I'm super new. But you're like super, like you went hardcore deep into it. Like you're just like, I saw you one one or two times. But I'm not sure if I saw you hanging. No, yeah, but you're then really like you're and then yeah, I think you're hanging. And then like. All of a sudden, you're like every open mic spot. Well, yeah. So, uh, coincidentally, you were the first person to bring me up at Hyenas. Um, oh, I was. The first time I did it, yeah. Well, that's cool. That'd uh, be a cool story in like 10 years. When yeah. Like, he, like, he's, he's in the in the gutter. Uh, yeah. I'm, just, I'm homeless. It's like, Not I'm... like me. <laughs> and then oh. you'll be like, he, 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 he called me to the stage my first Noah time. one time. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Noah, Trevor, Noah, the other down. Noah. But you know what happened with that was like, um, like after I, I did it that, that after I did it that first time, uh, and then that subsequent time I was like, okay, this is pretty dope, mm-hmm. but I can't get better unless I do it over and over and over again. True. Um, and so like logically, it's like, all right. Well, let me find more spots. And uh, actually, Dave American's the one that clued me into the DFW comics. Fucking Dave American. American. Yeah, he he, he I like that guy. He's, He's, that He's a sweetheart. I love that dude to pieces. Um. But, uh, but yeah, he pointed me to DFW Comics. I found more spots. I was like, okay, let me try. I think the second one was Tin Panther. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that was eye-opening. Like, it was like, oh, this is, this is where I need to go to get, like, better notes from comics. This is awesome. And then I heard about Twilight um, from, from Mana Offhand. And I was like, okay, I'll go here next. And then uh, Zach Rippey's doing his thing. And Matt Hatter's like, I'll do that too. Yeah, I and know. it's just like, I've been trying to fit as many sets as I can do uh, that I can in a week. So that, uh, or I guess without conflicting with like my work schedule and sleep schedule. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. Um, you ever go to Arlington Improv now they just start, they started back up? I, no, only because I, I try to pick places that are close. Like, when's the sign up time for that one? Uh, you gotta be there at six. So. Okay, that's actually not that bad. When you go up, uh, show starts at seven, depending on when you go up. But you, if you're there later uh-huh. than like six ten, you're gonna end up on the second block, and they they do it by two blocks. You okay. First sheet, and first block, second sheet, second. So okay. I ooh, I get. Okay, just, I'm asking all this really. so I can just look up. I got but. there at 620 last time, and I was fourth on the second block. I was like, what? Oh, wow. 620. Well, what time uh, of the week is it? What do you mean? Uh, is it like Wednesday, Thursday? Oh, it's a Tuesday. Tuesday. Right before, and then, yeah, it's a Tuesday. Uh, is that six? Well, then I wouldn't be able to do Twilight, though. Yeah, you can, because if you go up early enough, you can hit up Twilight and That's get it if, by though, right? If. I can sign you up if you want. Mm. No, I'll, I'll see. I, I guess it'll depend. Well, just let me know. I'll send you up if I get there early enough. But, uh... And if you know, if you can't go, then fuck them. I mean, what are they going to do? Yeah. This but, guy can't be here no more. No, I try to pick places that are closer to my home so that the drive home distance is not super far. Where do you live? Uh, over at Sycamore. What? Yeah. Or, what's it better? Hewlin area, I guess? Hewlin. Uh, yeah, closer to Hewlin. You know, inside of Mansfield. Oh, I'm, so like Fort Worth? The Fort Worth? The pretty south much. side of Fort Worth? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. So it wasn't too far of a drive here, was it? No, it wasn't. Was like uh, I mean, I was dropping off um, uh, the the BF anyway, so this kind the of just fucker? Uh, boyfriend. Oh, well, I guess technically. So yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You missed that. You, you're, Comedy. Uh, you're bisexual. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I think so. That's one of those weird things to where it's like yeah, I'm bisexual, but like a lot of people with this, you know. But there's the term pansexual. And I'm that is a mental thing, right? Well, yeah. so you gotta mentally turn me on before my bone. No, that's hard. sapiosexual. Oh. <laughs> what's so sapiosexual? My bone is still that that's that's what he was saying. You what? gotta be thought, pan then. I thought pansexual was where you like you like somebody mentally. That you can like somebody no matter what gender. Like you gotta say the right thing for yeah, this boner to get like hard. 
Well, okay. He's so, gonna keep saying so, that. So yeah, pansexual is like all of it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like everything under the sun. Um, Are you mentioning even cats? Right now? I am. Yes. No cats. <laughs> Dogs. No. It doesn't include bestiality. Oh. We can just cut that one off. It doesn't include bestiality. Dude, I love beast more, wars. I'd feel more comfortable with bestiality than all this other bullshit coming out there. Uh, you know, bisexual, straight, uh, here we go, gay, here we go, lesbian, geez. and then and then bestiality. Then nothing else. For the people at home, there's a little, yeah. there's a oh, little, there's a little ears. puppy dog over here. So if you're seeing me do this, I'm petting a little dog. Vulgar, vulgar. It's all vulgar. Anyway, so what's saposexual? He's he's hiding his bundle as he hears. Yeah, yeah so saposexual is just like you have to, like respects. Or I guess you have to be into them, at an emotional level first to date them, which I would say is everyone. But it is everyone. That is everyone. But no, it's well, no, no, no. That's it's not true. some people you throw are an alcohol in the mix and you're humping it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess for yeah, them, it's like an emotion and if I don't vibe with you on the mental, then like we can't do it, irres- irrespective of the state that they're in. So maybe that's what that is. I haven't done a lot of research into sapiosexual. It's one of those like sexualities that are like. Yeah, I mean, doesn't I mean don't people normally? Like you just anyway. want to have a special name for it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Just a little hey, bit. Do you, do you ever... How long have you been bisexual? Well, see, that's the thing. My entire life is the answer. But, like, okay. uh, when I found... Well, I guess when I realized it was when I was... 13, give or take. Because... Um, <laughs> it was so funny. Did you take too long to get out the boys in football? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> what it was? I was, don't want to get out of the shower. It oh, was sorry. so funny. What up, George Cortez? I, uh, what oh, up? Jorge Cortez. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> what it was, um, and I can, I, I'm thinking about including it in a bit. Uh, By the way, I hope you're getting better on. there, Cortez. I know you did a lot of shit to your ankle. Yes. Damn it. Yeah, that, that sucks, yeah. dude. Did you, were you here with Cortez? You were here with Cortez, right? Cortez. Jorge Cortez. Jorge yes. Cortez, yeah. Let's he, just uh, say his name again. He fucked up his ankle really that bad. That sucks, man. He had to have surgery. Uh, ooh. Yeah. That's tough. That's Fast tough. recoup, buddy. Yes. But uh, as far as how I found out that Fuck I like dudes, uh, <laughs> I, uh... I used to, so we all used to be on Xbox Live, right? That was like a big thing. Um, Wait a minute. And First Xbox? Yes. Or I guess not like Xbox, the like Xbox 360. Xbox. Yeah. Xbox Live with all, you know, Marvel Warfare 2 and so on and so forth. Uh, Halo 3. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and there was this guy that my friend introduced me to um, that I really liked his voice. And I was like, oh, his voice is like really... And mind you, the prior to this, I had never had, in my mind, a gay thought. Like, I was like, I don't like dudes. I don't like... P9. Yeah. I'm not interested. Okay. What's P9? Uh, P Nish. P Dog. Oh, okay. You not interested. Like penis, right? Oh, shit. What's up, Carrie? Cool trip? <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know. Uh, hey, man, you didn't come out, dude. I haven't seen you forever, Carrie. Sorry about that. Let me keep going. This guy's an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm trying yeah. to hear about the penis. So, uh, I wasn't interested at first. Oh, sh- I had to shush. But, uh, this guy had, like, a really nice voice, and my friend was like, hey, he wants a date you. And immediately I was like, oh, that sounds dope. And then I found out I was bisexual. It was that the, quick. The first thought was, that sounds dope? The moment a dude hey, was like, do you, you want a date? I was hey, like, I, I like dick now. <laughs> and then I did all my research. So uh, it was the voice that research? brought you in. Well, yeah, gay re- you just uh, AKA, I just looked at a lot of gay porn, and immediately I was like, oh, this is nice. Um, hmm. But yeah, it was more or less overnight. Like, I remember for the longest time, I was like, I'm pretty sure I chose to be this Now, way. here's the question that I, I was, the reason why so I So you did, didn't uh, choose, you were already there, you just didn't know it. Yeah. Huh. It just took one guy to be I like, do you want to go out on a date? And I was I like, don't know. Oh, I think yeah. everybody's pretty much gay. Yeah, I agree. I, I think I think being bi is like the basic like human platform. Like I think once yeah. you get enough, st- well, Game of Thrones. I don't mean to throw it out there, but I'm on season four. The, Stupid. The Italian Spoiler. guy with the weird mustache. Oh, Oberon. Banging, Oberon Martel. He's, he's banging both sides, and the guys all like the guy's gay next to him that he mm-hmm. sees with the night guy and his boyfriend died. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. Anyways. I don't know the name, but I yeah. So he's all like. Um, he's he made out with his lover, mm. and he's like, "No, nah, it's not my flavor, or whatever." <laughs> and then the other dudes all like, "Well, that's fine. I mean, you can." Wait, he already, like he kind of got offended. But he already made out with him. Yeah, he had to make out with him to realize it wasn't his flavor. No, no, no. He made out. He the 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 guy that he brought in the bed. Uh, okay. Kissed the, his lover, which was a a girl. Okay. And he's like, 
no offense, but it's not my flavor. Like, he likes being gay only, yeah, yeah. not bisexual. Right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking Remember about. Remember that? Yes, and then, yeah. I prefer to not have tuna with my... Yeah, she just said it's not my flavor or whatever, and then the other guy that he just banged or whatever was like, oh, like, he got offended by it. Mm-hmm. What the fuck was I saying? You're, you're saying, saying that everyone's shit. a little gay. No, no, no. Um, That's pretty much what you no, were the, saying. Well, yeah, the other guy was all like, <laughs> oh, you, you have the best of one world, I have yeah. the best of both. Yeah, that's exactly what being bisexual is like. It's so, like, hey, but I, now, don't, I don't like guys. Now, do you <laughs> but that's, get any yeah, like cool. any kind of hate towards being bisexual? Because I hear in the gay community, oh yeah, bisexual are, are 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 considered the, oh, like, the greedy kind. Yeah. They're like they're greedy. Nobody wants like, that. <laughs> gay guys, like straight gay guys, won't date them, and, and lesbians don't like to date them. Well, there's lesbians like that too, though. I've heard lesbians like some lesbians, like oh, oh. I'm. Strictly against dick is whatever. It's like, dude, you got here by a dick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they have like, to be born I by mean, semen. Yeah, like a gay dude who doesn't like pussy is like, oh, I, what you know? No, like some pussy? of them are, are angry about it though. Well, I mean, yeah, there's definitely like, like dude like, haters like, oh, out there. Like, like I won't mess with that girl because she's had dick before. It's like, oh, dude, if you're a lesbian, let it okay. be, whatever. Don't hate somebody else what they do. Yeah, no. So, I don't know. Those are, I mean, those are just lunatics out there. There's crazy yeah, people yeah, out there. I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, whatever. But I just don't understand it. No, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, dude, you don't want people to hate on it's you, so don't hate on other people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. no, it's it's just. But it's more openly it's, to it's, be gay now or whatever. Yeah, no, it's whatever. super easy. I feel like it's not really a choice for guys. He's full-blown gay. He just doesn't <laughs> <laughs> and, and but I think it is more of a choice for girls. He chose. No. He chose to be gay. I think girls more or less choose whether or not they want to be with other women. So that's the thing. Or it's, dick. it's not. It's well, not. you can't say you're a guy. You can't well, say no, I'm their I'm perspective. Pretty sure you can't say you're a guy. Yeah, I'm talking about the lesbian. same oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> for like chicks as it is for dudes. To where like whatever m- like molecule or cell in the brain that's like you like the opposite sex. Triggers in women the same way that it does in dudes. I'm, I'm relatively certain on that. I don't think chicks are like, you know what, tits are nice too. And then, like, that's it. Like, but I, some of them, a lot of them are. Like, oh, tits are nice too. And I just don't want to be with, I just don't want to be with guys anymore. I don't no, be with I think that's, look, I think it's just, I think that's always gay, how they've been. A lot been. of guys are like, oh, I try being with women and I've never been happy. Then, like, they go to guys and, like, I guess I'm gay. And then gay. they realize that there are gay dudes. Yeah, but then they don't, but then it's different, though, because they don't want to flip flop back. They don't want to, like, if they're with a guy and then all of a sudden that guy is a total ass to them, they, right. they don't be like, I'm never going to be with a guy again. I'm going back to women. But well, women do do that. So that's the thing, though. There's that middle area that I live in called bisexuality, to where, like, some of them just have a preference. Like, um, I wouldn't say I have, like, a hard preference over one towards the other. It's just have you ever mood. had a big black cock? So what the fuck? Is, uh, why are you so interested? Here, I'll He's we'll gay. go off I'm this sorry. tangent, but I uh, I did, <laughs> yeah, once. Um, I tried. I don't want to know how big. <laughs> I don't know Aggressive. I only <laughs> I only want to know that you have had it, and I'm <laughs> interested. But don't tell me how I'll, big I'll, because I'll, I might like it. That's I mean, what I'll just that's tell what you I the length in an adjective. <laughs> uh, scary. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all I'll say about it. Just mm. scary. <laughs> but yeah, so I think, I think <laughs> there's definitely women that exist in the world of bisexuality, but they just have a preference. You know what I mean? To where it's like, okay, I, I realize I like I like women more than dudes. Like, I'll still fuck a guy, but it's like, I prefer women. You know? There's a lot of them out there. Saying, you're saying you're, you'll prefer women over guys? Sometimes. I mean, once again, like, for me, yeah, it really just is just a on mood. How hot the chick is? Not even that. It's just, it's just a mood. Like, if... Like, I've, I've realized, like, my criteria for, like, liking a, a, a woman as opposed to a dude is, like, different. Mm-hmm. Like, for women, I do have, I guess, like, some parameters, I would say, you know what I mean, that I that I need to live with. But for dude, it's just, like, personality, you know? Like, I just need to, to like the guy for who he... Like, of course, he can't be, like, a, a piece of cardboard as a person, but, like... You know, as long as they're, wait, like... Wait, wait, wait. Why are you being, uh, discriminated against cardboard I've had sex with cardboard, cardboard before. <laughs> Why are you being discriminated against, against people? cardboard people? Yeah. Because they ugly, bro. I'm saying... Hey, <laughs> hey, man. You don't talk like that. Because they nasty, the bro. <laughs> people are treated as human beings. Because I see men them, but they don't see men me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um... <laughs> I didn't know where to go with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I haven't slept that long much. Um, what? Nah, well, how many hours did you get? None. Oh, there was... What the fuck is wrong with you? He's on drugs. I'm on drugs. Like he always is. Um, 
There was a fight tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I don't know if you're into wait, wait, UFC. I don't, I don't know. Uh, too Kane. Much, Kane oh, Velasquez right. was fighting is the it, is, it, wait, is it on right now? Maybe. I don't I think fucking so. know. But it was on right Can now. You look I know my dad's part? watching it right now. So you into the UFC? Not personally. I don't know too much about it. I just know little bits and pieces. Like, I'm essentially in. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, Dude, we need to have. Uh, uh, we need to sit down and have fights where we watch them live. Yes. How do they call it? Of. Uh, just a uh, casual watcher. Uh, what do you call uh, somebody, like, someone who wears, like, a Misfits shirt, but, like, has never listened to one of their songs? Yeah. Poser. Thank you. I'm a poser <laughs> when it comes to uh, uh, fighting. Oh. Like, I know Ronda, Roundy's, or Ronda Rowdy exists. Um, I've seen Michael Vin and Page fights. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, he just fought uh, yesterday, too. Yeah, I heard that and was he weird. MVP. Yeah. Uh, he won by decision. It was okay. I just, like, I guess he fought somebody, and I don't know the guy, John something... He fought somebody at a caliber that he's never fought before. Mm-hmm. Well, to me, it's my opinion. I don't know. I've never really seen him fight, but I've seen his excuse me highlights. Yeah. Um. So he fought this guy, and it seemed like his talent. This this other guy that he fought, his talent just it was the most he's ever fought because he didn't he did not execute. I was about to say I heard the other dude was <laughs> this is just shit that we heard, but like the the dude was like defensive like more defensive than normal I suppose. yeah i mean he did takedowns yeah, which was cool good. and um it was it was good it was I don't know anything about but like he just looked sloppy and then he did this okay. it, he, he had this there's this part in i think it was round two where it pissed me off because mvp was on the floor with his hands on the mat like sitting like this and just doing this that dude's an asshole like dude what are you doing like if the other guy was more of a striker and just Found the back of his head and leaned that punch in. It would have been game over. Yeah, but my MVP is a clown. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's cool. It's but this dude caved in a man's high- skull and threw a pokeball at his ass. <laughs> like, his, this dude's a dick. His highlights are dope. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> I mean just a, he's just clown. He's, he's entertaining because mm-hmm. yeah, he still did weird shit where it was like, oh shit, look at him be cocky. It was cool, mm-hmm. but but he was. But he he's, fighting, he's not. But he's he, not world class. Who are you fighting, Phil Davis? Yo, David, no, I thought it was, it was John name. something. It was, uh, what's his name? Um, is he a good fighter? I don't know who the John guy is. The guy he fought, I don't, I've never heard of him. But I, I, but I think he's is. had fights behind. Like it's, it's the a, guy that got kicked out of the UFC because he held the choke on for too long. Oh, really? On Kosh check. Oh. Phil, not Phil Davis. Yeah, but that guy is... He's, a good, he's a good kickboxer. The, the MVP, just he's got to be careful because you can't be that cocky against a world-class... But he fighter, he uh, so he won by decision. Yeah, he won, he won. Yeah, I mean there was there was some shots where I was like, oh shit, yeah, he's uh. Did you watch that live? No, I, I watched it. Um, no, you were the recap on my break. Yeah, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. fighting. Yes. Yeah, yeah, not really your topic, so <laughs> we're not gonna go too. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. No, we'll have. We'll, I've, I've talked to uh, Fitch. Fink. Who the fuck is Fink? Anthony Fink. Yeah, Anthony Fink. Yeah, the MMA says, one. The yeah. MMA guy that we had on before. Anthony Fink. Yeah, uh, and cool uh, and Panda. Uh, he's another comic. I don't think I've met him. He was I here, him? yeah. We did an MMA podcast. I know this is super... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, like, yeah, white dude, white dude, dude, beard, you know. <laughs> you were there next to him, you dumbass. Yeah. Just, hey, it's cool. Um, I'm yeah, offended. Yeah, he said, well, he's, he's down for another MMA podcast, whatever. Um, yeah, that would be. Th- I would love to hear Anthony Fink's position or point of view on that stuff. Oh, he's he's. I yeah. If it's that guy that I'm thinking he knows of, stuff. He, he yeah, that knows dude's stuff. in it, man. He does jujitsu. Oh, he's the one yeah. that does jujitsu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like a blue belt. He knows right what now. he's talking. About. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty pretty up there. <coughs> it takes a long time to get your blue belt. No joke. Yeah, no. five years almost. Uh, <laughs> I know okay, nothing so, of the okay. ground game either. It's awesome. Uh, more about your comedy life. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah? Let's talk about it. <laughs> oh, yeah? We're going to go to that? All right. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's talk more about your comedy life. My hey. life, man. Eh? <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, sorry. No, you're good. When did you first decide to do comedy? So, I decided to do it. Uh, I'm just going to say your question again. Um, I, I think was... So, I think in October, I was like, I'm going to do stand-up now. Um, cause I had a, I had a realization. Epiphany. epiphany. Yes. I had an epiphany. Um, and I was like, I should do comedy. Um. Wow. Like. Well, uh, okay. I'll try to make this as brief as possible. Well, let's um, 
I so I was sitting. I have an office job, uh-huh. right? And I was sitting in my my, my at my de- yeah my cubicle, uh, and it struck me at one point. I was like, oh man, all I do all day is I sit behind four walls and some glass, right? Yeah. Four that walls. That has to suck. Does it drive you nuts? Or it did. It? Yeah, it drove so you me. Crazy. Draw on the walls. I have stuff. You know what I mean? Like like personal eyes. Uh, yeah, I got like a. a some some from Dark Souls, the Lockwood Castle. I have that up there. Where is I that? Have, uh, it's from the Dark Souls, the video game. Oh, uh, Dark uh, Stalkers? No, Dark Souls. I don't know that one. Uh, Dark Souls? I know Dark Souls. No, I said you don't know Dark Souls. I don't know Dark Souls. It's I think that's nice. it slaps. It's a good game, but uh, but yeah, I have some. It's what? It slaps. It's good. <laughs>, laughs slaps you know what i mean slap slap these yeah so you know it's like when someone's like oh shit and they do that it's like it's funny yeah or it's funny or it's like oh that's really good um but yeah i have that and i have like a little retsuko um and like little stuff that people are giving me but yeah like retsuko retsuko or agretsuko it's this little anime about like a little uh um red panda who's like an accountant and um yeah it's anime it's yeah it's oh, a cool. super cute little uh, anime. Is that the one where the chick like goes into like this rock out mode? Yes. Yeah, she. That's, that's that anime is so weird. It's really cute. Um, but yeah, I have you know. You ever watch Bo 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 Bo? When I was really young, that shit fucked me up as a kid. Bo Bo was hilarious. Made no sense. Let me help you. That was what's so funny about it. Let me help you from drowning, and they throw a rock at the guy. It's hilarious. <laughs> I think I've watched two episodes. <laughs> I was like, this is too much lag to change it. Yeah, no, I used to watch that all the time when I was kid. At least, you know, on TV when I was on. But, um, but anyway, so yeah, four walls and glass. Four walls being my cubicle, glass being my uh, computer monitors, four walls being my car doors, glass being windows, four walls being my room, glass being, once again, my windows. And I just felt like, felt suffocated. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I can't... Sucks do this kind of thing for the rest of my life i need to do something like i need to have some kind of ambition um or i'll die and so i was like i need to pick something because i like music and i like comedy uh i'm either going to pursue music heavier or i'm going to do stand-up i was like i'm going to do stand-up because the lab for that or the prep in that is you going on stage you know what i mean like the payoff from it is almost immediate in the sense to where, like, you, you write your stuff, and then to test out, you have to go up there. Whereas with music, you write it, conceptualize, edit. There's so much stuff to it to where the end payoff takes, like, way much long, or way, uh, much longer. But with comedy, like, it was exactly what I needed at the time to where it's like, oh, it's just right there. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I think about jokes all the time anyway. You know what I mean? It's like, why not, you know, try and make the stage <coughs> funny and... and um, make people laugh on stage because I already like doing it, you know, and it's just been working out. But yeah, it, it all just came from me being like, if I don't do something with my life, I'm going to die. Um, I feel like that every day. And, and then, then I do nothing. And then he does nothing. Yeah, that's that existential dread right there. Yeah, that's Woo! how it happens though, man. A lot oh, of people don't feel like they have no point and they feel like content by buying stuff and think that's going to make yeah. them happy and getting married yeah, yeah. and having kids. And yeah, we all have our, our whatever. Thing. But that doesn't make them happy on the inside. No, actually, you know, they're suiciding themselves because they lose their job at 50 and they don't know what to do with their life. Yeah, no, man. It and happens all the time. The but I, uh, mm-hmm. a, a big, a big push on that one for me too was like, I have this view of like, like a lot of existence is like suffering, but you can suffer in good directions, right? Yeah. Like you can stagnate, you'll still suffer, and right? You can try your best no, and, and pursue man. your dreams and you'll suffer, but towards progress. Well, it's not sure, it's not sure it is. But it could be... That is disgusting, and I like you more because of it. I didn't have a... Is that weird? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah. That's one way to look at it, or you could just look at it like, be happy that you're not hungry, not, you know... Oh, yeah, just grateful you. for... Be great. I mean, because that that's what I try to do. I just try to be grateful for what I got. Fuck you, asshole. See, you <laughs> go to work, you hate everybody there. Oh, shit. Go ahead. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, I want to hear more about my life. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Right? No, no, I, I mean, I, I got into comedy because I realized that I wasn't doing anything outside of work mm-hmm. except for masturbating. 
This guy masturbates way too much. He masturbates at work. Why is he lying? <laughs> well, you're not getting out of the way. So when I'm off work, you masturbate I can, more. I can, I can focus on masturbate comedy. on the way to work. Masturbate on the way home from work. <laughs> masturbate to, at work. I'm trying to hit high scores. Look, my therapist is helping me out. Okay, I'm bringing it down to five times a, uh, an hour. Jesus Christ. If I could do that, I'll just five times an hour every day. I think I think like that should be some kind of Guinness your dick would be gone, sir. No, my your dick would, would be, be gone. gone. You think all that friction and that short amount of time and your dick's just gonna be fine? Yeah, I think so. Man, you're a couple couple of inches off of that, <laughs> or cut a couple of inches off of that, boy. Boy, <coughs> goddamn, handle it. <coughs> Fucking allergies. Um, give him the chop block. Well, that's cool, man. Oh, that's that weird about it. Game of Thrones. I'm sorry to bring it up. So no, much. go ahead, man. Because I've only been on it two month, two weeks. Bro, I will talk. And I'm, <coughs> I'm, and I'm <coughs> season four. That's pretty much my life. Go to work, go home, watch. Go to work, go home, watch. Be like this. Yeah, so it sucks, but whatever. It's all right. There's boring parts. I fast forward. Um, they have no dicks in that show. A lot of people have no dicks. <laughs> the 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 fat white guy, no dick. <laughs> The army of people, no dick. Yeah. Uh, the other guy got his dick cut off. Where are their dicks at? <laughs> there is too much infatuation with Christ. dick cutting in that fucking show. There's a lot of cut dicks in there. Where are the dicks at? They cut them off. Yeah, Why did they cut them off? The, well, there's this army depends. that this chick oh, like they has. Don't want to, they don't want them to breed? Well, I have no idea. So it depends. I have like, no idea what's going on. For the fat white dude, it was like... It was uh, torture, pun- right? It was punishment. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and the nonsense. other guy was being tortured too. The other he, white yeah, guy. Yeah, that guy was. That was. And then torture. the army, it was like no dick for you. It was. It was a way to control them. Like if they're not uh, bothered by wants of the flesh, then they can't. You know, like you can control them better if they can't fuck people. Oh, are you talking about the Unsullied? Yes. They're supposed only. to be as unhuman as possible. Oh, okay. They yeah. don't. They don't want to have like a conscience. And so they cut that off so they're not, like you said, wanting of the flesh or whatever. Yes. Um, but so they don't feel anything when they're killing people. Boo. You, you know? don't get it hard on when you kill somebody? <sighs> no, they can't. Because they ain't do got... People, people do get hard ons when they kill people, right? Sometimes, Sometimes. yeah. Yeah, some people. Sucks. Serial killers. Oh, the Ted Bundy tapes are up and I haven't started watching them. <sighr> Wait, the it's Ted on Ted Netflix. Bundy tapes? I, yeah. oh, I watched like, the Ted Bundy one on Netflix, but I thought they were going to bring another one. They're going to make another one. I don't know. Well, I, I know there's one on Hulu that they're going to be making. Oh, and man. they're also going to make a movie with uh, Zach. 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 Not Galifianakis. Zach. Zach. Ephron? Zach Ephron. Ephron. Thank you. Zach Why Ephron. Why am I? Oh, uh, now I'm lame. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, Zach man. Zach Ephron. Uh, the Backstreet Boy. No? No. High School um, Musical. Um, the uh, Neighbors. <laughs> what? Yeah, Why would I watch were, High School Musical? Yeah, I'm nowhere. Have you that. never watched Disney Channel and I, seen a commercial? No, never, not once. Jesus, all right. When I was a kid, yes. Yeah. No, I loved like, Aladdin. <laughs> what? No, Aladdin wasn't on Disney Channel. Yes, it, it was, was on, on ABC. When we were kids, it was on ABC. Dare you, cruel? Ducktales. Ducktales was on ABC. Ooh. Jesus Christ! Oh my goodness! What did Disney Channel have? Just trash? Yeah. <laughs> no, there was shows I would yeah. watch on Disney Channel. What? I don't know. Those I two kids, remember. those two gay ass twins. No offense. Those two twins that were stupid that had I've that. I've been saying Asian gay chin. the whole time and I haven't apologized to them once. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna apologize once you say gay once. Now I'm the asshole for never apologizing. Yeah, you are. Right. Um That's a given, I guess. What else? I mean I they, don't know. There was that's something. so Raven, right? That yeah, was on. Never there. watched that. No, yeah, was, me neither. Uh, uh, but I was. I think I was young enough to be turned on by her. Nah. I don't know. Either way, I was. Uh, sorry. Sorry. At that at that age. We, yeah, mom didn't have cable at her house. What do you mean at that age? When you, when that show was out for you to be watching that, no, you were out getting drunk and high and hanging out with Daniel. What year? And getting kicked out for the summer. <laughs> I was <laughs> getting kicked a young, out. cool guy. <laughs> How <laughs> young are we but talking? Even, like, even That's So Raven was like when Ceci was young, not when we were. When Ceci was like, oh, yeah. well, Warnie's was like, I, I dated her at the time frame. I didn't she touch like, her, damn it. She was like between the ages oh, of like seven and sixteen, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking like, oh yeah, y'all remember when y'all were kids? Like, oh, I'm fucking twenty two. Oh, uh, are you? Yeah, I'm twenty two. You look older than me. Yeah, yeah that yeah, works. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true. Is that true? Looking for confirmation a little bit. from the real I think it's dog. Younger. It's the dog. Beard. Nah, dog is asleep. Oh, He's sleeping. Look at not puppy. yelling at him. I was asking for the We've been yelling like, this no. whole time just because we yell at him. He's always going to all yeah. of a sudden. Oh, they're talking about me. Let <laughs> 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 me wake up. <laughs> yes, and he's rubbing his eye like a human. Oh. Yes, you called. <laughs> um, 
Dog is my name. <laughs> I need to get a puppy I, I What's the dog's a, name? I tried a bit about dogs. It didn't work out that way. You were there when I did you it. You don't have a dog, and you oh, care for no dogs. That's that, why it that didn't work. That bit about animals. You gotta have love for animals. I just remember the the uh, girlfriend's cat. And which I eventually turned into something else and did it on stage for my showcase at the oh. Butch Lord Showcase, which did pretty good. What was the dog one? I was talking about like dogs and how. I don't know if you say the probably remember, but I was talking about dogs and why I just see them as animals and I don't really have emotions if they were to die, because when I was a kid, I was I was traumatized I because remember. we had a dog mm-hmm. and it got run over by a car and. I was crying and the dog was slowly dying in my hands and the family was just like, oh, well, he's dead. And they put him in the bag and they threw him in the dumpster. And that's when, and that's when I realized. Oh, that's where they go. And that's when I realized that nobody gives a shit about animals. I was like, I okay, well, just I guess. older Mexicans. Not, <laughs> that's why you said that. I like, we were Mexicans. We didn't, we, I'm like, we don't bury our animals. That's white people. They... So your dog... Died in your hands. Well, he was gonna die regardless. What song was playing? I'm just thinking. Because in this uh, movie, there's a song playing, and it's sad. It's, it's that Naruto sad music. <laughs> Dust in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> All we are is dust in the wind. <laughs> but, okay, so your dog died. <coughs> Obviously, it's raining. Um, it doesn't yeah. have to be factually accurate. Yeah. Obviously, oh, it's raining. Yeah. You're screaming into the air. <laughs> yeah, lightning. Ah, and you're. Your 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 dad just kind of like, all right, come on. We can have a dad now. We can That's have a dad. Shit. Oh wait, do you not? No. Fuck. That's why he's so gay. Uh, yeah, and then we got oh, taught man. how to stay away from men. That sounds right. I've been okay. For men ever he's since been he's been looking for that man gratitude. Your uh, what is role model? Whatever. I don't know what it parental is. Parental role or fatherly love. Yeah. Parental yeah. Something because, like that. Because, yeah. yes. because I feel like a son would jack off his dad. Exactly. So I'm looking for a gay dad. Yeah, to be my dad, um, father figure. I don't know. Very much so. Oh, that makes sense. Works. Yeah, what? Well, Complete sense. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, that's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they throw away the dog, and uh-huh. you just emotionally, you just like, oh. Yeah. And then as cool. as the dog's getting wrapped, I'm on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I also talked about uh, I, I I also talked about how we we got this domain uh, Doberman Pinscher. My sister got a Doberman Pinscher. Mm. I don't even remember how she got. it. I just remember it's a full full grown Doberman Pinscher. And then we, I had found a box of kittens, and me and a bunch of friends, like not a bunch, but like three or four other kids about the same age, mm-hmm. we decided to give the Doberman Pinscher a cat, a kitten, mm-hmm. and it played with it. And then it licked it, and oh, then it no. chewed on his head, and yeah. it killed the cat. Okay. And we were just like, oh. <laughs> well, maybe it was an accident, so we gave it another cat. It did the same thing. Licked it, you know, <laughs> played with it, and then it chewed on his head and killed it. Oh, man. And then the third time, I was like, wait. I was just like, well, let's just make sure that it's <laughs> that it's not. Nothing has changed cat. from so that day to this day. This was yesterday. He still <laughs> This was yesterday. <laughs> two, two hours later. <laughs> two hours ago. So you're tired. So yeah, and then we gave it. I have cat no more kittens to I, give the dog. <laughs> Funny thing is, I don't know if somebody stopped. I don't remember this. I don't know if somebody stopped us from giving it the rest of the kittens, or if it was only three kittens. So. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't oh. know. I don't remember anything after that, but I do remember that the dog killed three kittens. And that's a uh, that's a uh, what's over dark man. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. But but it killed him so easily. I was, I, in my mind, I was just like, well, I guess, you know, things just die and animals just die. And, I don't know. I'll start crying now. Such is the way of life. No, I start crying. So now I don't really have attachment to animals. That's tough, man. Oh, and that, and it didn't, I also didn't help that we lost a shit ton of hamsters when we were kids. Well, that's hamsters, though, man. We lost a shit ton of <laughs> I don't know. I live for like two yeah, they years. go up your butthole and never come out. Never yeah, come out. Hopefully, that's not where that where <laughs> what happens with that. What was right? that like WikiLeaks <laughs> on South Park? <laughs> no, that was when. Uh, oh, when what? I don't think there was a story arc going for that one at the time. But I remember Mr. Garrison's boyfriend was having a contest with Paris Hilton. Yeah. Uh, who could shove the biggest thing in their ass? And the whore off. Yes. Yeah, it was that one. I don't know that episode. I stopped watching after Dude, they're hilarious. Three or something. Oh, you gotta watch them all over again. Because no, after no, like no. season 
10 or 11, <laughs> the animation gets bad, the storyline gets better. That's always a really tough sell to anyone. It's like, bro, when you hit season 11, it gets so good. It's like, well... Yeah. Then, well, because they go from a, an area where it's just satire. You've seen them all? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're diehard. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a funny show. Like, not every episode's spectacular, but it's a funny show. I stopped watching Family Guy after season four. Oh, I think we all Simpsons. Should, I think we Simpsons all after, like, season seven, eight? I think season eight's when it stops being good. I think. I still watch it. I still find it. Little bits of pieces are funny. Bang Bang Bar ah. still hilarious. Just more me to love, baby. <laughs> Um, oh, and then sorry. American Dad, like, there's a couple of shows I don't watch any binge watch. Yeah. And Bob's Archer. Burgers either. I don't watch I did like Archer. Bob's Burgers I did enjoy, but I stopped. Like, I know, I don't know why I stopped watching it. See, I go into the weird shows where I like C-Lab 2021. That shit was fire. Aqua, Aqua was Teen awesome. Hunger Force. Fire. Fucking awesome. I know there was another one I can't think of. I do about those shows cool. if they were off the air by the time you were... Mm-hmm. No, I, I watched. Uh, I was Dude, fortunate. Twenty twenty one came out the air like almost fifteen years ago. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, they do no, not show no, reruns. No, they definitely did. No, dog, they, they definitely four did. seasons, Listen. and they're one of the earliest shows on on, <laughs> on, on uh, Adult Swim. <laughs> hold on, hold <laughs> on, hold on, hold on. Talk for yourself. He died. Um, Jesus. Yeah, he did. No, see, twenty twenty one. They showed. Uh, they had reruns for for a while. Um. Yeah, no, that's I was able to watch that Aqua Team. Um, oh, dude, Super Jail. Yeah, Super oh, Jail. Oh, Super shit. Jail. Yes, I only saw two um, episodes, but man, it was good. Yeah, but they had some garbage on there, like fucking Twelve House Mounts was garbage. Sometimes, yeah, some, and, some of them were hit or miss, man. That's the thing about that show; they gave mm-hmm. everybody a chance to come out. That's with yeah, that was a good thing. I I will watch like shit like Xavier Renegade Angel every once in a while. Have you ever seen that? Uh, Is that the guy dressed up in the... Snake hand. You know, like his legs are backwards. No, I haven't seen that. I've heard of it. I don't think I've seen it, though. That show is so funny. Do you remember Assy McGee? It's so straight. Yes, I remember Assy McGee. He fit on everybody when he talked. What's the um, the (laughs) Christian family? More oral. More More oral. oral. That's right. Shit. Um, What's the dog one? Uh, Where he's the devil? Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Pickles. Mr. Pickles, yeah. That that, uh, that is that? pretty funny. I've only seen like two episodes. Oh, there he is, devil. Dude, my I think one of my favorites. Or three episodes. Uh, the Metal Oculus. I never got into. It. I the for me the music is is amazing. I love it so much, and the animation is kind of trash, but like. Um, just the just the comedy of it. They're so, so funny, stupid. They're so dumb, and I love They're it. So They're stupid. so fucking and dumb. So rich. Have you seen the it's Batman like and the, Robin it's, it's song? like the ICP yes. guys. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the. Well, now, I'm not saying the ICP guys are stupid, but like the following, like that they're they a have. bit silly. The ICP guys, yeah. They're very silly. I love, I love. Uh, what was it Crazy Jay or some shit? The dude tried to draw kick uh, Fred Durst. I heard he was like joking Failed around miserably. Though. Really? It was, it was just, I yeah, heard it was one just of them. A joking around type of thing, like well, a rest, fake wrestling type of thing. I certainly hope so because if it wasn't, it was the most pathetic attempt at a drop kick. Yeah, like, come Fred on, Durst just like looked down and after he's like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like he went. <laughs> he wasn't in on the joke. But you know, I guess yeah, not. No. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. But you know how in wrestling they do those drop kicks and they they like supposedly uh, kick them and then they fall down. Uh, yeah, he pretty much did that. Like stop right at midair, did the kick, and then fell down. But I heard it was like a um, a fake thing. Like they have this, they have this wrestling. But there's thing no going mat. Through, so. He hurt himself. He's probably drunk. And was there no Bob bounce? Fago. There was a bounce. He bounced. Sure, the Fago. Who? I guess uh, Fago, that northern one of the ICP company. members. He tried oh. to drop it for Durst. But no, man, those those guys are a little silly. But I do. I think they're I think they're sweet guys. I don't know they're cool guys. But uh, like, but I'm saying like they're, they're following, following is silly like, as hell. <laughs> they have a song about magnets. Well, I mean, to be fair, they have goofy magnets. Songs. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Not really. It's a, it's a, it's a metal thing. It's science. You don't believe in science? No. Do you not believe in science? No. What Do you believe in aliens? Does. Oh, here's a good one. Flat Earth or Round Earth? Oh. Let's do it all day. <laughs> don't. Here. Hold on. Don't like. Oh, that's a spicy topic. No, it ain't, man. It, <laughs> it no, is. No. It is because the flat Earth. <laughs> Has a lot of people falling. Ooh, I can't let's believe. get into this. I Flat can't Earth believe. around Earth. Look, dude, look. You'd be I can't surprised. No, you'd be surprised who believes in the flat Earth theory. I saw this. Okay, so you're not believing in the flat Earth. Hold right? on, I just first of all no, but I saw this funny ass tweet of like a <laughs> fucking talk show on flat Earth. I'm afraid that one of the niggas is gonna grab me and throw my ass off the edge. Hey. Sorry, I'm brown. I can say that. No, you I'm can't. Brown. Fuck. No, <laughs> I told you from the get go. Don't say that. 
Yeah, one oh, of those God, dudes is gonna no grab you and gloves. throw you off the edge. Uh huh. <laughs> like if you clown on flat earth dudes, yeah. they'll throw you off the edge. <coughs> so the earth. That's so stupid. Who was it? Oh, oh. That... So, so round earth. There's this guy. You can't who, say of course nowadays. Like, no, this is no, 2019. We've gone backwards, Freaking buddy. Stupid. We've gone backwards. Of course, that's not. No. Science does not support. But there's idiots out there look. who believe in stuff like that. And people, not, and people want to look out I their window and be like, calling, I don't see nothing curved. I, I feel bad calling them idiots, but I mean, that's nothing else you can call it. But so I do believe in hollow earth theory. It is what it is. So that's tough. Hollow earth theory. That's. Insane. I just don't like to hear, oh, well, the center of the world is magma and this and it's metal and it's that's what it is. <clears throat> How the fuck do we know? Uh, that, that we can try to be like, this the, is actually, why. That one, I'm not sure. I don't know the exact. That's what we were taught we in school, right? That. Yeah. We were taught but, in school that it's metal in the very center. Yeah, it's like well, magma. Like mold, mold, or, mold. Yeah, I think it's solid in the center of the earth. I think yeah, so. I think there's like think a so. solid core and then some. And then it's metal. liquid metal, and then it's like. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> My science why teacher said exactly. Lava? Then that's why I'm never gonna believe it. Why is there lava in the middle? Uh, you know, in the layer of Earth. Why? Um, why? Okay. Well, it's because of the friction of the thing, and it's causing the melting <laughs> because it's so hot. Because God, 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 God. you're a fuck. Oh man, <laughs> man. <laughs> you're <ever> broadcasting <laughs> a <laughs> dumb <laughs> weird. <laughs> Dude, why is like there magma? Let me the tell Earth? you, bro. Think about it, man. It's like if. It, was it makes liquid. sense. It's like magnets. If it was liquid, <laughs> like wouldn't it just like fly Dude, out? Bro. Doesn't it get warm? <laughs> well, imagine. Right. If I dig into the earth, why does nothing come out? It doesn't make any sense, bro. The crystals make you sweat, bro. Did you ever watch? <laughs> did you ever watch uh, Solid of the Moment? Uh, oh man, bits and pieces. The what? Solid Moment. Solid the Moment. Saw the moment. Never heard of it. Ancient, ancient. But yeah, I remember that thing. I like that show. He was funny. Oh, the show. Yeah, yeah, one of the adult swim shows. Uh, I didn't watch them all. I didn't watch a lot of them actually. It was one of there those so um, many. Mighty Boosh type shows. There was just like there was so many. And then like sometimes if you stop watching TV for a little while, you'd miss the whole thing because fifteen minute shows. Yeah. Or thirty minute because of commercials. I like that fifteen minute show. Thing. Fuck yeah! Depends. You buy the season, it well. you watch it all. Ooh, oh, the, the Mike Chicken. Tyson show. Robot Chicken did it yeah. great. Awesome. Yeah, uh, Robot Chicken too. When that came out, man. Oh my. You like green laughing. Yeah, at <laughs> the age chicken? of like ten. <laughs> <laughs> you would crack up over the the six flag one, the way the guy goes. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. The one that made me laugh the hardest was that uh, gummy bear that no, got no. stuck in the bear ah, trap. No, oh, dude, we have we have Hulk, and he would forever be known as Dishes Done Hulk. Like that that one Hulk, the toy yeah. that was Hulk, where and, they uh, did real world, but it was superheroes. I don't remember. And Hulk was peeing oh. on the dishes. He goes, dishes done. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about dishes and, done. And uh, the other Catwoman day. is like a young girl, and she's getting drinks. Like, who wants to pet this pussy? Yeah, she's <laughs> drunk. And, and then she falls <laughs> off. They're like, they're the camera. Yeah. Really and they make fun of Aquaman. I mean, that dude deserves to get clowned on. And look silly. Yeah. Hey, guys, how are you doing? He's talking to a... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speak to me, bitches! <laughs> yeah, he's like, I yeah, can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> First season, oh, yeah. it's good. Hey, I want to talk about something boring again. Oh, you, want to talk uh, about you were talking about, uh, uh, you said Chopping Block. Chopping Block? I never said that. Game of Thrones. Oh. Uh, not Bring Game it back. Again. I want to talk about Game of Thrones because I love uh, that show so goddamn much. I'm a, I'm a how, how many this, seasons so. are you in? I don't watch Game of Thrones. Ah, so he's on season ah, six. So he's Go on. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Why is season six? So I don't know. I'm just talking shit. Uh, I'm not that so far. What's what's happening in season four? Because I don't remember. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay. At least the last okay, episode. Okay, um, the king guy just got choked and went head to and pointed at the midget guy. Like, you yes. Did this shit. Okay, yeah. And um, then, um, Joffrey. Uh, the, the hound is with the little that? bitch. Yeah, he's running away. And uh, the, the little bitch what? is all like saying her list and he's all like, well, go and finish your list. I, or whatever. I don't know how good of an impression that is. That's fine. And, you know, uh, and he's and then she turns around because she doesn't want to look funny. at him. I guess while she says oh, yeah, his name, hand, yeah. and and then he's looking like this bitch just said my name. I get really attached mm. to my animals. Yeah, I, uh, I care about my pets. I fucking yeah, bro, I love that show so much, and I remember so uh, they're my friends. We'll like, grow up one day. I don't know, man. It's good up to a point, right? And it's purely because George R. R. Martin did not write up until (laughs) certain seasons. Really? Season five onward is like just the writers of the show. But they like come And they um 
We still talking about Diarrhea Thrones? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. They kind of, they just don't, just, just don't do a good job. Like, they do, like, fun stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, man, that's cool. I like that character, and he's doing yeah, the cool that. thing. But they don't make it make no. sense like they made everything else made sense. The, the first season, and people tell me, oh, the first season sucks. The first season was the best season so far. Now I'm on season four. Yeah, they, it, It's just so much happens, and the king was cool. Yeah. Or not the king, but the, the hand. Uh, Eddard Stark. Uh, what's his name? The actual. Oh, um, I don't know yeah, but it, it is Ned, Ned Stark, right? Yeah, Ned Stark. I can care less about Game of Thrones. Sean Bean is the name of the actor. Yeah. He's really okay. Good at yeah, I call him. He's I call really him. Good um, at dying. I call him. Um, yeah, from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Lord of the Rings. Who's in Lord of the Rings? B- Boromir. Yeah, Boromir. Oh, yeah. Boromir. Yeah, he does Dude, he a great gets job. stabbed like seventeen times with arrows. Oh, but when the when the mom and the son die, oh my god, that was. That was intense. What am I? Yeah. That guy's gotta get a puppy cam. This thing is just... I have one actually. I have. Oh my goodness. Right ah! here, my friend, because I'm a, a Twitch stream, my uh-huh. friend just sent me an extra webcam. For the puppy! And so I'm gonna use this one for my face, and then that one up there is gonna be a puppy cam. Yeah, because I can. <laughs> a <laughs> puppy cam? Yeah. Because this. Y'all thing... have too much love for animals. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever said that before. Just because we're not heartless doesn't mean we have too much hey, love it's how you I have get a clicks. heart. It's somewhere. Smaller than the Grinch's heart, but it's growing three times size, whatever, every seven years. So give it's me. weird because you get judged for for this for not caring about Look animals, but for caring about human beings more. Look at the well, see, I cared neither for neither. So where does that put me? Satan. Well, okay, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done with Game of Thrones? Can yeah, I re-enter the conversation? No, you can. Get your ass back oh, over there. Right, yes. All right. So puppy loving, no, like puppy not yes. loving mother. <clears throat> you yes, obviously are a mixture of certain things. Yes. You're not Hispanic. No, sir. You're not Jamaican. Nope. You're not Puerto Rican. Nope. And you're not Arabian. Correct. Pakistani. Nope. Jerusalem. What would that be? I don't know. Place. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw you off. <coughs> You're a uh, half black, half white? Yes, half black, half white. Hmm. Um, I think the term is mulatto. I don't think really? so. I think it is mulatto. No. I think it is. I don't know what it is. No, because those were black and white people before mulattoes were even invented. Well, no, I'm well, saying, like, that's Look, the term. No. Here's the better and more not. important question Who embraces you more? Neither. <laughs> yeah, no. It's because you don't look like either one. You don't no, look no, black. No. Like, you definitely don't look white. Yeah. You look Hispanic or or, mm-hmm. or maybe some kind of Middle Eastern. Yeah, man. That's why I gotta learn Spanish so I can get stepped into one of these fucking things. <laughs> nah, they don't want you. Either. Nah, dude. Yeah, I know. Middle they don't want me. I'm fully cognizant that they would not like Like, hey, it. what the hell was happening? <laughs> and they'll be like, look at this asshole. Yeah, no. They're like, like, okay. Taking two What's seconds. going on, bro? And I'm not even <laughs> a piece of white. Yeah. Me too. I think uh, the proper term is half breed. To be honest, <laughs> that was way before any kind of mulatto. Is that a band? Hate breed. Hate breed. I'm thinking of hate breed. Yeah, I think of hate breed. And I've never listened uh, to them either. No, so. no. I uh, yeah, no. I'm just I'm a mixed. I think it's the, that? the government term. Is mixed. Is that comfortable. So or is your mom or your dad? Which one's which? Mom white, oh, no, dad black. Uh, oh, I was okay. gonna say that. You didn't give me a chance. Sorry, dad. You know how I knew. That's all. I'm not going to say it because it's mean. But, okay. Just tell me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what a lame. <laughs> because Let me bring up something mean. Because not... I have a theory. When you have half black, half white kids, mm-hmm. <clears throat> if the mom is not black, the kid never grows up and knows how to do what to do with their hair. Mm. Because black people need to have black, uh, be, have black mothers so that they get taught how to treat their hair. And white mothers be like, I don't know what to do with that shit. <laughs> that's a, that's a. But not it's not like fair No, no, no. Anything. I'm not talking about him. That's just a theory that I will use on. Well, Ooh. how would you know what he was if your theory doesn't work on him? I wanted to guess. Did I? Not I was gonna point? guess mm-hmm. white. His Makes mom you was think. White. <laughs> oh, you were gonna say white. Oh. I was gonna say his mom was white. Oh. But yeah, no. Uh, yeah, my hair is a is a untamed a topic of concern for myself. Because I uh, I don't know what the fuck to do. No, no you got that like poly short look, that like you know the, the weeds. It's cut. I mean, what? <laughs> you don't it's have to say. Look, I know it's whack. I'm trying to grow it out. No, I'm in the, I mean, 
It, I'm in the in between place right now. Wait, wait, you can't be, you can't say you're trying to grow it out and have the side of it buzz down. Well, that's part of it. Is that I'm if just just to the top out. part, not the the this part. I'm keeping that trend for for a reason. I'm pretty sure you said the exact same thing like a year ago when you wanted me to cut your hair. That um, yeah, you're on the spot now. <laughs> you start, you kind of got that. Right oh, I'm getting licked. What do I do? <laughs> Is he trying to eat me? Yeah. Oh, Jacoba. Okay. Yeah, Jacoby. first time Jacoby. I've been eaten by a dog. Jacoby. Is that a sexual thing? I don't know. Oh, my. That was an idiot. So, where are you from? I <laughs> Since this guy's not asking questions. So, I'm uh, nose, yes. uh, born and raised in Texas, just in the DFW area. Dude. I, uh, I... I, I don't... There's not, like, a specific place I've lived all my life outside you, of just DFW Are you area. one of those guys that, like, super proud of being in Texas? I mean, I... I If I ever go anywhere else, it's like, yeah, I'm from Texas, got... Damn it. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> God, damn it, I love being a Texan. When I'm not... <laughs> when I'm not here, I love being Texan. No. When I am here, I'm just a dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which sounds way sadder than I meant it to, but... Uh, no, I, uh, I, it's not like, I don't know, wear with pride while I'm here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't really care, I, I just live here. It's just, there, I mean, I, there's just some people uh, here, specifically here in Texas. Well, there's some corny dudes. They're, like, super proud of being in Texas. There's nothing wrong with that, though. <laughs> some, it's really, really annoying. You know what's really annoying? There. Your face. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I got a Texas tattoo. <laughs> and, uh, I'm proud, I'm not. I'm just know. glad that I was born in America. Yeah, I, I mean, care what part of Texas, what part of America, as long as I'm born in America. Well, I mean, there are some nice parts about Texas that uh, I feel like you would have a hard time finding. I think a lot of parts of Texas are, are good. I, I, no, no bullshit. <laughs> if it wasn't for that over whatever, where I'm from Texas, I'm happy, or whatever, I'm, I'm happy to be from Texas. Texas is cool. Yeah. No, uh, South cool. Texas is beautiful. Uh, Central Texas is all right. Uh, Austin is cool. San Antonio is awesome. <laughs> Texas is cool. Yeah, no, I like this. Place. I really love Colorado too, though. Colorado, I've only been there once. I'm from Oregon. Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. How is Oregon? Very calm. He's never been to Oregon. <laughs> the fuck, you're not from Oregon? Yes, I am. I want to go to Washington. Tell me what I'm saying. Things. <laughs> I'm from <laughs> Idaho. Actually, <laughs> actually you know, funny thing, we did grow up in Iowa. I technically, I believe, I my home, my home city is in Iowa. Oh, can wait, believe? What, what yeah, because I grew up there. Oh. Well, yeah, I would think so. Yes, I did. No. Where did you grow? Yeah, I did grow up there. All right. Well, the fondest memories were, were for me in Iowa. Humping the floor. I have slight memories of Texas before I moved. Humping the floor. And humping the floor. Right. But I was humping the couch in Iowa when I was going through puberty. Next to the floor. Which I have jokes about that that I haven't used on stage recently, really, but I talked about You humped people. couches in Iowa? I humped the couch cushions. Yeah, I mean, look, it's struggle story. Like, you took out your show. penis and got no, between no, the couch no, cushions no, no. and said, you're on. getting it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you and me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Caressing. <laughs> that sofa. No, I didn't know what it was. It just felt, felt good. And that's when he got into bestiality. And that's when I, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. That's so tough. <laughs> I should go or he should go? Oh, oh, it was nice knowing you, know. I'm getting nice kicked out of the show. <laughs> it's canceled. Oh it's canceled. I gotta go home now. Let yeah. me see, is there anything that we need to talk about before? Uh, yeah, we need to talk about life. Anime. Yes. Anime, yeah, oh, let's okay. talk about anime, Mr. Anime Star. I love anime so much. You like Baki the Grappler? He had not watched it yet, man. The first one? I don't know if he's watched any. Okay, I tell me. watched every single episode of the Netflix one. I haven't seen it twice. Yet. Which one? Though, wait, wait. Ooh, let's talk about Castlevania. That oh, was easy. Wait, wait. Let's, oh. not, let's not jump topics. I mean, yes, yeah, so we're jumping. Uh, jumping. Wait, that's a central first. term, isn't it? Okay, you saw no Baki the one on Netflix, the new yes. one. Yes. But you never seen the older one, right? I'm going to, but yes. The older one is. I believe it kind of. It kind of jumps around because it in mm-hmm. in. The Netflix one looks like some of it when he was young, some of it when he's older. So, what the uh, Netflix one is, it's the story arc where he fights uh, the six death row inmates. Um, and it's all just around the time when he's a teenager, but like the, the time, oh, I guess what looks like the time jump is this is Baki's dad. Yeah. Is every once in a while they show him off. Yeah, uh, uh, Yujiro Hanma. Yes. But, uh, no, it's, it's, just, it's just the six death row inmates arc. It takes okay. place, I think, after. 
the original show. Yeah, the original was. tournament. Because the original yeah. tournament, he was, I think he was 16 when he won. Yes. Yeah, and then this one, he's still... Because he had the short haircut, and then he has the short haircut in this show. But yeah, no. Now, yeah. that one was fucking amazing. I, I need to watch that, because I, I realized after watching the Netflix one, it's like, okay, so Baki's my favorite anime ever. Oh, really? It oh, has yeah. literally yeah, everything that I look for in an anime. Tough um, man. It has, yes. Pex. So, yes. Uh, so, oh, what if, you... yes. So. <laughs> uh, we can keep going. <laughs> un- underage. <laughs> oh, well, hold on. No. So, the, <laughs> let's, let's look back. Stop, a little stop. Bit. <laughs> Big <laughs> Too far, too far. <laughs> but no, it has, uh, it's just a celebration of violence, which I love and shit like yeah, Berserk and yeah. JoJo. Oh, um, Berserk. I just finished those. What, well, never mind, that was like four show? months ago. But I watched them all three same day. Oh my god, that was yeah. beautiful. I just don't like the sex scenes. I'm sorry, I'm not into well, anime it's sex scenes. Right. It's, it's not for me. A lot of it's rape. A lot of it is rape. Well, no, <laughs> there's like consensual. There's a lot of two not consensual. Not I think there's two consensual sex scenes in the entirety of Berserk, and then the rest of it's rape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the demon part was beyond oh, me. Oh, oh, but I'm gonna make it's my favorite part. We're not to say the R word, remember? Oh! I'm st- ah, yeah. Well, uh, it uh, involuntary sexual <laughs> escapade. Sexual wow, assault. you're right. Sexual that is assault. very hard. Yeah, sexual so assault. Not, Easy. Yeah. Two words. Yeah, that's. You could please. You should probably write it down. I'm like, a, don't say. Do it right there. there. <laughs> you got like. I can't even read. You got like nonsense all over it. Christmas is still nonsense. here, bro. Christmas is still here. Ornaments. Shut up. Customized ornaments over the rules. Y'all at home can't see this. They do have rules, but they've obfuscated them amongst a bunch hey, of hey, nonsense. Hey, hey. We love our Christmas. Board, I'll put a giant hey. one. <laughs> we love our Christmas. That's, 50 cents, okay? That, that's between you and Ali, my producer, so you Look, guys can do it. I suggest you, for, you have this big monitor here. Just, like, put it on the side window and then just have a Word document that says, that's don't say this. That's for our conversation that's been you, ongoing since it started, buddy. <laughs> Uh, oh, we said big monitor. Oh. Why would I say <laughs> what you said, which was a racial <laughs> slur, sir? <laughs> sir? No, no, spit? Like a, like a spigot fence. Spit? Wait, what? Spigot oh, fence. I thought you said spit. Oh, I, I thought, thought you said spit, too. I well, like to spit it I, like, I guess legally I can't say what I thought you said, but. So, um, anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, Addy, you're gonna have a gay guy, bisexual guy, you're gonna come in and redo your room. So that's yeah, not what the I'm saying. Queer eye for the rate. Right that's weekend. not what I'm saying. That's just what you said. Say that. You want to come in here and redesign her room. You're not I'm, touching my computer it is, stuff. It is just the smallest, just window that on the right no. side. There's no wall of text someone's going to send that we need to read. I promise it's you. It's very we informative. Do. Yeah, we actually My do. boyfriend's just watching the stupid MMA fight right now. So he's not oh, gonna that's fine. Let him watch that. Tell him I say what's tell up. Him that's what stupid. Tell him, stupid. Tell him, hey, hey, tell him the not. cap by cap. Let us know what's going on. <coughs> Dude, that would be oh, awesome. Come he could on. Be on there, I told him to come say hi to you guys, and he's like, no, I'm busy. <laughs> no, well, just message or whatever. You're talking to him. He could have been our pay by pay. I am not that interesting. You're good. Don't You don't have to force him to watch this. I'll buy I'll no, go to I want the dollar store and I'll buy like a giant poster board just for you. Not, it's not. Just yeah, no. It's not. I'll put it dollar store. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, to I'm too broke to go anywhere else. No, I mean that's very <laughs> high class. <laughs> uh, just, just we're going to dollar store. Oh, I can get a <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> and, we can talk uh, production drink. afterwards. I'm just saying it would be oh. the smallest, just quality of life <laughs> change, just a little. A Don't you diss our Christmas, bro. I'm not trying to. This is like it. It's February, but I'm not trying to diss your Christmas. It's, it's February. your February, my Christmas. Don't you fuck with it. People paid for those ornaments. I trust that. It's February, but I trust that. And that's why you can't date women. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's why I'm coming to the Chris and be like, boy, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> that's what why I'm single. Do? So yeah, Baki You're was great. Dude. Oh, I just... highly recommend the first few, uh, first the first one. I'm gonna be Actually, reading Duff the manga. Not a thing. Yeah. What is it? The first Baki, the first uh, collection. It's DVD is trash. What just because it's DVD? Yeah. It's it scratch that makes it trash. Oh, oh no, I can. I, I, I have my ways. Oh, I didn't Funny scratch guy. it myself. Yeah, get claw. No one watches. <laughs> <laughs> no one. <laughs> I will be. This the was mine. Oh, and no, I'm no, licking no. it while I'm scratching it for some reason. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. What other anime are you into? Okay. I watched the Baki one too. So, I'm gonna rewatch it though because I stepped through some of it. Um, JoJo, I like a lot. What's JoJo? Uh, JoJo's Never Bizarre heard. Adventure. Um, it's another one of those like it's a bunch of buff dudes that are like ambiguously straight, um, and they they punch each other a lot. Uh, are you are you a one punch one punch man of fan? Of course I am. Love One Punch Man pieces. I love one. Don't um, you think that it's kind of repetitive though? Where like he punches. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I, like having it's like Superman without Kryptonite. Well, so what makes boring. I hate what Superman. makes One Punch Man fun? It's kind of the same concept I want to say with Goku, to where it's like, oh, we'd, when Goku gets here, well, it'll be fine. Yeah, but yeah. he dies all the yeah, time. Yeah, but he just gotta come back and, and it'll be ended, fine. He's stupid. Yeah, he just gotta come back and it'll he's be fine. He's very stupid. He's just gotta. He's just hey, gotta. Dragon Ball Z has come back with a vengeance. No, it's cool, but well, he's no, not, he's I am not saying it's cool. I'm just saying it's come back. No, it's cool. Well, I like Dragon Ball Z. I, oh, tiny side there. note: that Burly movie that yeah. just came out. Was it good? I, that's the thing. I heard it's amazing. The animation spectacular, and the story makes Burly make sense. Yeah. Um, it's just a remake of the, of the original one, right? Uh, yes, yeah. but I better. Think it's a, a continuation. Revamp. It's yeah. it's a better version. It's a retelling of the Burly story yeah, to where it's not it. stupid. To where it's like, yeah, oh, Goku really cried stupid. next to him as an infant, and he remembered, and now he hates Goku. Yeah, that was dumb. It was dumb that as hell. Dumb. But Broly's my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. He's cool. Because he's very buff. <laughs> he's, well, he's a, he's, he's a nobody. He's a nobody that made, like, was the best in the army, wasn't he? Something like he that? was the legendary, yeah, like, uh, sup- like, some form of Super Saiyan. He was the Saiyan. first Super yeah, Saiyan Yeah, yeah, but before something. that, like, what was he? I mean, it's not like Jesus Christ. Oh, was no, nobody. No, he, was, he nobody. was the Jesus Christ of Super oh. Saiyans. Like, he was the, like, so you have the Super Saiyan form, right? Which was supposed to be a legendary ability that only some Saiyans could get. Um, but then you have Broly, which was, his number was the biggest number in the sense of power level. Yeah. Than any Super Saiyan could ever achieve. So where the fuck was he at when fucking Freezer destroyed the planet? They explained that. He was sleeping. He was a baby. <laughs> oh, he was a baby. He was a baby. He couldn't do it. Freezer? Anything. When he was ever fighting Freezer? Yeah, he was well, a, yeah, baby? He yeah, a baby. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, because remember he was in a thing with Goku? Babies. Mm-hmm. Well, so when when Frieza oh destroyed, when Frieza destroyed the planet yeah, yeah he was no he's talking about when Frieza was actually fighting them, oh like fucking with it? like Namek and shit like that it wasn't no, he no, asleep no, or something with, uh, I was talking about with uh, when they destroyed the planet oh, oh yeah. okay never mind yeah but yeah no Broly Broly's supposed to have the biggest number and I love that concept of like don't oh, blame me no I love that concept of like oh Broly's Broly just the, the strongest this episode I can't have these distractions <laughs> I asked you if it was okay you said yeah yeah and I thought he was gonna be all passed out the dog is gonna bring likes yes. Even though it's not in the video. Hey, puppy. Look, just give him some Ambien and he'll pass the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Give little. me some yeah, Ambien, too. This podcast is canceled. No, nah, he'll have Ambien and a beer next to him. The, the on, puppy's a Twitter. guest. Look. He's on Twitter making racist remarks. It's Puppy and Gump <laughs> Show. <laughs> little puppy. Okay. But yeah, ah, it's cold. Oh no! But yeah, I love I love Burly to pieces because he's everything that I want from animes that I watch. But he was like a poor nobody, right? And then yeah, he, just, he, was, he, he became the best. His dad wasn't really anyone of note. Um, I want to say uh, his dad he was, was a moron. yeah, but like his dad's a moron. Just, he was yeah. Burly wasn't yeah. really anybody. But then it was like yeah, but he's also the strongest Super Saiyan ever to be ever. And they explain why he hasn't been fucking with like Jiren and stuff like yeah. that. Um, but yeah, I, it's like, I love Broly. And so I need to watch this movie because I love Broly so much. Um, but yeah, I, besides that though, I despise Dragon Ball Z. I think it's one of the, wor- at, I say that the Frieza arc is good. The Cell arc is good. Dude, you're going to give me all kinds of hate on this podcast. Not you, me. No, Listen. it's going to come to me. And they're like, why didn't you defend <laughs> Dragon Ball Super? You, look, you, 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 you Dragon Ball shill. Look, I get it. I get why people like it. Right? You understand. I get why people like Dragon Ball Z as a whole. It's fun. It's hype. Sometimes the animation's good. Kind of same thing with Naruto. To where it's like, there are moments where Naruto was spectacular. But there's just so much dumb... So much dumb packed into the show that I personally can't stomach. Yeah. Like, a lot of people can. And props yeah, to I them. Yeah, I love watching Naruto. But, like, I just can't... Like, look, let me just see these people kill each other. Right? Don't... Enough of the, like, I remember back... And this nonsense we could have talked about a thousand years ago. Mm-hmm. We're going to bring it up right now or something that I've already told you in previous episodes. I'm going to bring it back just in case you forgot. Like, I'm just not... I hate filler in between fight scenes. You can have filler before fight yeah. scenes. That's fine. That's just called character development. Mm-hmm. But when you have it in the middle of fight scenes, I just don't do that. Let me see these people fight each other. Let me see the action part. Then you can... Yes. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, they stop and like, wait a minute. This and that. Wait a minute. This and that. Wait a minute. This and that. And how did this last ten minutes and y'all are still not fighting? Yeah. Like, this is crazy. Like, Naruto's... Yeah, I agree. Naruto's I like Naruto. one of the worst offenders of that. To where, like... Really? Uh, well, yeah, because you... Uh, for example... I've never seen... Not no, really. Well, really a good example is the Zabuza fight. Mm-hmm. Zabuza? Zabuza fight. I, I did not like the first... I like... Uh, the I like first series of Naruto. Zabuza. I skipped all the way. So, they got some good ass names. I skipped Zabuza. a lot of it, and then I just jumped into Shippuden. I just watched Shippuden all the way. As through. most people should, really. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's... But even in Shippuden, there's, like, all garbage. Sometimes, yes, there is a lot. But in, in that, there are moments that are like, oh, this, this is the best animation in, I've uh, seen in my life. When Aruka-sensei dies. 
Yeah, and, uh, Tyler. when Kirby Sage dies... Let me know when y'all are done talking about this trash. <laughs> well, Naruto, actually, uh, it's one of my favorite animes. But no, I, uh, one of my favorite... Like, I was playing the Naruto Ninja Storm video game. Those games are crazy. That's the only way I can detest Naruto story, because they take out all the nonsense. But do you I do got... each character as they come up? Oh, it is time to buy. Yes, <laughs> let's not fuck around. <laughs> yeah, you could just do it. Yeah. But, like, any, like, the story beats, like, you know, spoiler alert, uh, seeing Naruto's parents die. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that no, you ruined my life. legitimately made me sad. When, his dad, when they showed how his well, parents just, died? Well, yeah, how his parents died, I was like, oh, my God, I didn't realize I cared so much. <laughs> like, it hurt. But I still think that a lot of the story's dumb, but, like, for the stuff that is sentimental and good, it's, like, really good. It's one of the only animes that I watched and I actually did cry twice. It's, yeah, dude, I, oh, there are, so, there are a handful of moments that are, like, they really hurt. What yeah, a Would Azuma Sensei not? Azuma? Uh, who? Azuma. Um, the guy who does the shadow, the shadow jutsu. Oh, yeah, uh. Their leader, their, uh, their captain. Yeah, he was killed by Hidon. Yeah, Hidon. Yes. Ooh, I liked Hidon. He was cool. He was, he was my favorite. Guy. He was my favorite. <laughs> I had no idea what his religion meant and why he's the only one that knew about that religion. Yeah, he knows, man. But, but he was insane. Yeah, he love... cannot die. He's still in the ground, technically. Yeah. He's alive. It happens, man. When you're immortal like that, they just gotta chop you up. You think pieces. when he's down there, he just starts eating dirt and trying to dig his way up? I'm Is he in a coffin? No, no. He, uh, he got blown into pieces, yeah. and then they bear and then got like rocks, they dirt blown blow, blow on top of him. Mm-hmm. But he's in like a forest that's like a um, holy kind of, I guess you can say. So, so that it's kind of supposed to protect from people being able to go in there and just dig him out. Yeah, so he's kind of trapped. In but he's still alive. Pieces. He can't die. He just doesn't die. But uh, but yeah, I loved him. But when I was like really young, I really liked Toby. Um, Toby was so, he was so silly. He was so silly. And Frail then, lizard. <laughs> yeah, he was he was goofy as shit. He was. But then yeah, it turns funny. out that he's one of the baddest motherfuckers out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I always had this question. Maybe you can answer. It. Why? Why did um? Oh shit! Why did why did uh uh was it Toby? Yeah, why did Toby look so scared? When, um, the guy, the guy, the snake guy, who was Orochimaru. Orochimaru's, yeah. yeah, but the little henchman. Oh, guy. the ninja info the, cards the, guy? The coffin that he brought up, remember, they didn't show who was in the coffin? Mm-hmm. And he was like, I have a trump card, and it's to whoever's in that coffin. It was supposed to be the first, um... Hokage? No, the, the, the first, the Hokage one, the one that he fought. Madara? Brother. It's supposed to be Madara, right? Mm-hmm. Was it supposed to be Madara in there? Probably. I mean, more than likely, yeah. I mean, because that's if you have if there's a trump card out there, it would be Madara. Yeah, but Madara comes later on. Yeah. Uh, I got confused. I I knew we were Look, man, the only like you're asking the wrong dude, man. Yeah. Well, did, you I, have, did you like Bleach? Yeah, I. So I suffered from the problem that like I guess whenever I first got into anime, I was younger, and we didn't have shit like Country Roll or like yeah. reliable YouTube links. No. We just had to hope it was on TV, right? And so when I watched Police, they were doing a marathon. And I watched that marathon up until episode 30-some-odd. And then I went to sleep. And then it kept going, and I just lost track of everything. And, like, the character design's dope as fuck. The Bankai, amazing. I, I love all those concepts. But I hear that it just got worse and worse and it worse did. over time. It did. But initially, the concept of spiritual pressure... That was so insanely cool to me. Yeah, because it's, a, it's, it's this a good premise, idea. But they like they just went. Yeah, I mean they, they threw it in the trash essentially. But originally the concept that they, they had, had was so cool. They had it's like a great no, it's like yeah. a great movie. Yes, yeah, it should be shown in there. It's like a really good movie, but then they don't know how to end it. Well, it's and then they end it with like a shitty way of. Well, it's the movie. like what Homeboy was saying. It's like they had the the issue with. Um, uh, with a lot of these mangas like this, like your Naruto's, Dragon Balls, and uh-huh. and Bleach's, is that they have this quota of like we need these every single week. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like you can see it in the writing of Dragon Ball Z, where this dude was just making it up as he went along. Sometimes you know what I mean? Same thing with Naruto. Oh making yeah, he, up would, as he, went he along. would forget. He would forget stuff. Yeah, same thing with JoJo. I with anime, y'all guys don't know. But him. so in this anime, like they'll put in like powers for people and then the guy who makes it will just forget these powers <coughs> like in the same like not same volume but like same story arc he'll yeah. just forget it you know so it's like uh, the the 
the creators for these things are under a lot of pressure to just make content. So that's why a lot of stuff suffers. Um, like the we're, new episodes coming out next week. Please like me. Yeah, like we're <laughs> lucky we have shit like um, Berserk to where like that was just good. All of it is yeah. just good. Um, but then you get cases like Bleach. Do you think? Uh, do you think? Well, they were spread out between years. Do you too, think, think Netflix? Like well, yeah, but dude got like a seven-year hiatus. <laughs> do you think Netflix is uh, helping out the anime genre? Because Netflix is helping out everybody. Netflix That's lets the them do whole. a whole season. Well, so they'll. I think they'll. I hope the format is that they'll prepay seasons. Yeah. And so that they'll let them take their time. Like you have, I, we have I shit now. Like, think that's what's going on. well, we got Castlevania, which yeah. looks beautiful. But then we have shit like Baki, and so there's a lot of love in Baki, but the animation is trash. He didn't want to bang his mom in, in this one, did he? I never mentioned it. He wanted to bang his mom in the other one. He wanted to bang his mom in the other one so bad. I don't doubt I it. remember that. Uh, yeah, he I don't doubt that. I there's would... a lot of a lot of incest innuendo in the other one. Sure, I don't remember that. But uh, but the Baki anime really for Netflix like looks like garbage. Um, but they are there's a lot of love in it. So like, you can tell when something is a panel from like the yeah. mega. Uh, they make it very overt, and it always looks good when they do that. Um, but they do that CG shit with like the low yeah, frame rate that, that looks like right garbage. There. Like they'll do that uh, to conserve funding. So I think some shows definitely get more funding than others, of course. Yeah. Um, but you ever watch Effort for Family? No. Yeah. No, that was one of those things. Like I, I love Bill Burr. I like mm. him a lot. But like I watched, I was trying to watch uh, like the first episode, and I was like, yeah. I love, I love watching episodes for family. I think I should give that another shot. I think so too. I was like, eh, I've watched like one. three episodes. I really liked it. I just haven't come back. I think they're on what season three now or season two? Season three. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch. Yeah, man, I don't know. There's some shows out there to where like you get it. Like for instance, I'm on Daredevil season three. I'm almost done with it, and I just have not gotten back to it, like, at all. Yeah, I, I, I heard it's good. It. Yeah, I, haven't I heard it's it. amazing. I haven't started I it. I watched season three of Daredevil, but, like, as far as, like, Iron Fist, I really didn't watch it. You shouldn't. Luke the Cage, second one I, I heard was better. It. But yeah, I didn't. Uh, Luke Cage was all right. The first season was good. That one chick. Uh, uh, Jessica Jones? Yeah, I didn't really watch it. Uh, she was inconsistent. She is a whore, and I like her. Oh, yeah. but, I don't think so. She um, didn't really fuck anybody but, like, one no, guy. No, she Luke Cage. Um, the other guy. She was she was mind controlled to do that. Was she? Yes. But Luke Cage by who? Not Luke season? Cage. The the mind controlled by the white girl, white big back. By well, the white dude. <laughs> In the first season. I don't remember that at all. She fucks Luke Cage, and then there's the uh, David Tennant, whose ability is to mind control people. He convinced her to to have sexual relations with her or with him without her Wouldn't consent. Wouldn't that break his oh, pelvis? Really? No, Wouldn't no. Well, she. So that's the thing. She she knows how to control her strength, but only kind of. Yeah, but when a, when a woman has an orgasm, well, that just means that she didn't come. I guess he's still. Yeah, there. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that at all, actually. Which makes no sense because how did Lewis Lane, Lois. yeah, Lewis Lane, able to have a kid by Superman? But well, you know that sperm would have shot out and blown right through her cervix. Yeah, uh, well, through her brain, probably. <laughs> No, yeah, I, I, I think those are the details that they don't really yeah. talk about. I think Superman was impotent. I hope so for her sake. Mentally, yeah, they can't do it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying like that? I don't know. Did, 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 did. Well, they they kind of address something like that, like in the Incredible Hulk movie. Like he tries to have sex with uh, his girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the, Spider, the Spider Man thing too. Uh, yeah, Spider Man dies. Has sex with Mary Jane, and her his semen is radioactive and kills. Oh her. yeah, and it kills her. One of the, the storylines, or is that? It actual? was one of the universes. Yeah, I don't know which one. This like night. a push. For, it was yeah. one of those pushes to make Spider Man darker, but like a weird. And they really work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. great semen comes great. So, are you yes. like, are you a fan of Marvel and comic books too? Or, I, or just once like, again, I'm one of, I'm kind of a poser when it comes to that too. Like, I love the Netflix stuff. I love the movies. Yeah, um, movies are awesome. But I don't like. I haven't really read literally any comic. Oh. I love Spider Man to pieces. Yeah. He's my favorite superhero ever. Really? Why yeah, that's cool. Though? I just, I, I don't know, man. I just love him. Like, is that tight spandex? I think, yes. No, it's, uh, I think what it is is that, like, I got that, that, I, I think I saw that Sam Raimi spider like, early on. Like, How old were you when that came out? Oh, God, that came out in 2002? Well, that's a very man, first one. Man, remember the trailer what they showed on that with the two towers, and then they had to scrap that because the two towers died? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, that was like 99 or maybe 2000. Oh, did it come out in 
in 2000? It must have been. Well, no, the movie didn't come out for another two years after that. Uh, but I remember seeing the trailer like, oh my god, Spider-Man, woo! And it didn't come out. That's a movie with Tobey Maguire? Yeah. But I think I think I like Spider-Man because like, the, so the PS1 Spider-Man that came out, I played that like a bunch. Mm-hmm. And and that's how I initially I started like Spider-Man. Plus his powers were cool as shit. And swings and shit, he's got the wall sticky thing, and that's yeah. like, all of that is like so cool to me. Um... And I don't know, I just, I just like it a lot. And then that's just stuck with me mm-hmm. to where, like, like everybody, like, every other superhero, like, you know, they're cool and stuff. But, like, Spider-Man it just has this this thing about him that I like a lot that I haven't been able to pinpoint. Why exactly I like Spider-Man more than any other superhero, but I just love him Do you him think more. his spider sense goes off when, like, some girl tries to have sex with him? No. And she pokes holes in the condoms and stuff. I got condoms. He's like, spider Not using that one. one. No. Nah. What? What? It's danger, though. It's Did you know danger? that's a real thing? Mm-hmm. Spiders sense their own death? Like approaching? Oh, yeah, spiders Yeah, they're like, a oh, foot! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. fuck, right. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> is it their eyes? No, they're, they do. I have, heard that's a real sense. There like, is... Some spiders have that real sense that, oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Let me get out of here. Yeah, I, 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 Well, isn't that what, like, males do with black widows? It's like, I'm gonna die, but I gotta have sex. Oh, that's just they're like, like in that nanny. Like, English. Like, call it... Putin. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier with the poop. Oh my God. <laughs> Putin. <that name. laughs> okay, I was just wondering uh, what you knew about, like your extent on Marvel. With, like, yeah, it's uh, not that deep. You know what's crazy is I I prefer Marvel over DC any day. Oh every yeah, day. DC's so, so wack. But my favorite comic book hero guy Batman. in general, whatever. Yeah, it's Batman. Well, so. I agree with you. Marvel does do better. But for me, though, because I hear, I hear when it comes to the actual comics, I hear DC is pretty damn good. I would say DC is better. But only because know. of stuff like Kingdom Come. I read that. Oh, did you? That, you read a couple of here and there stories. I Yeah. Uh, so, Kingdom Come, Dark Knight Returns. Um, I read some of, uh, of course, The Killing Joke. I guess mainly Batman stuff, huh? Yeah, uh, uh, I read, uh... The oh, Flash is whack. Yeah. Fucking stupid. I like The Flash. <laughs> you know, man, he, gets he never learns his <laughs> lesson. He was I was going, say, you're similar. We yeah. talk about DC, you're like, He's always going you. back in time and trying to fix something. He's always fixing his own problems. Yeah, He's been f- on I think it was a Flashpoint or whatever. He fixes his own problem. mistakes. That's he right. causes the problems. And tries to fix them. Yeah, such such a I'm just going to bring so a Flash right now. <laughs> Flash is the coolest. Aquaman... <laughs> Stupid. Oh, they oh, tried yeah. to make until them the, until them. now, like they actually make him look, you know, decent. Like actual. Okay, he's not lame. <laughs> the, orange the, the orange and the orange the green was cool. Then it took away her huge cleavage. Who? Wonder Woman. That movie was, was not cool. bad. It wasn't bad. Way. She was cool, but they took away her cleavage. And she is super fine. Oh yeah. my jeez. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm just I wouldn't say candles that. lit <laughs> next no. to her picture. As far as DC is concerned, though, I love. But uh, their char- movies are trash. But, okay, but their characters are, are like based off of like of ten people. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so their all star cast is not a lot of people. But like for the ones that, <coughs> are, like my favorite interpretation of Superman is the one from Dark Knight Returns, um, to where he's just a puppet for the government. Dark Knight um, Returns. Who's yeah. yeah. So it was one. Oh, by, you're talking about the animated. Yes, they did animate. Yeah, well, you're talking about just in general that storyline. Yeah, well, him working for the government was cool. It was well, it was it was a logical conclusion to like like yeah, yeah, if you have like a superhero, reasonably the government would want to talk to them. Yeah, have some kind of program like that. I mean, you know what they did with I think his name is not John Oliver but Quincy Green Arrow. How they like how Superman had to rip his arm off. To make him stop being a hero. Yeah, and it's like Like, look, you either do this or I'm gonna have to rip your. Well, excuse me, arm off, and he's all like, "Rip away, buddy, because I'm gonna keep doing." It. He's like, "Fuck it." <laughs> all right, peace. He's yeah, gonna, he couldn't get a metal arm like uh, uh, what's his name? I don't know why he didn't get a metal arm. I mean, he's it's supposed expensive. to be a millionaire. Is it expensive? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. The government went back for it. No, they wouldn't. No, he's a millionaire. That's the thing about him. The gr- the the, the yeah, what's his name? a rich arrow? boy. He's yeah. a rich boy. He's rich. Yeah. I think I I'm imagining it's probably just for the sake of the story. Maybe they don't have like. Yeah, he's using know. his mouth. To, he, yes, he did do that. He's the archery. Yeah, it was dope. He's the archery version of Batman. Something like that, I think. Maybe. How are you just gonna utilize that in one thing though? It's like yeah, there's guns and there's this, but they're I'm like, okay, gonna... we got a rich kid. 
who is a pussy with See, I never, I never looked into that guy's story. Yeah, Green far, Arrow, man. who's a rich kid, and uh, let's say he was grew up in the Amazon, learn how to do arrows. Okay. He grew up in the Amazon? No, nah, he just he would go and put himself in situations. He would have vacations. The same thing that Batman did when he was younger. He would go into different things because he was rich, had all the money. Mm-hmm. Now I got no purpose in life. Let me go fuck around. Sounds That's right. what Green Arrow did. For the I don't part. know. I don't like that they show him like never like. Exploring that money. How, how do you have that much money and you don't fuck prostitutes? You know what I mean? I think they like, did it initially. You're, you're definitely banging everything that walks with that much money. Like, even if, like, hey. Are you talking oh, about Bruce Wayne or Green Arrow? Bruce both. Wayne. Both fucking, both, yeah. Bruce yeah. Wayne's a crazy person. He's definitely crazy. So I think I think that kind of gets in the way of, of. He fucked bats. Dude, he. Oh, wait. Here's what bothered me. He fucked Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Yeah. Barbara. Yeah, well, she was story, like, what, 20? He was no. like 60? Yeah. And it's supposed to be your be- one of your was greatest that? friends? Yeah. After she was That's Oracle, he was banging her. Yeah, he was all right. That's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. You think well, Batman yeah. would have some the, more... What's crazy is they kind of set it up to where it'd be like Robin and her, but then he's just like, all right, Robin, you go... Uh, <laughs> Polish, polish the Batmobile hey, while I uh, hey, polish that ass. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck these cheeks. <laughs> That's so gross, though, boy. Batman, Dude, Batman like, was oh. getting everything. I know. I mean, he already had Catwoman. He had to get Commissioner's daughter, too. Dude, yeah. Like, Cat imagine, Woman, imagine. Talia. What was she He got say? that poison ivy dick. He did. <laughs> He but like imagine poison ivy all over his I'm dick. I'm pretty sure right. he didn't tell him. Like, like, she, <laughs> she made a dick. Yeah, you want this, Batman? <laughs> but yes. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty denied. sure Batman <laughs> didn't tell Commissioner Gordon that he banged his daughter. How do you have that conversation? Exactly, <laughs> Commissioner. I'm sorry. Clapping your daughter's cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with the clapping of the cheeks? Because that's just a funny way of yeah, saying it. That's it just the funniest way to say uh, it. Oh, uh, real quick. Uh, you're talking about clapping of cheeks. The first time I took my brother, my younger brother, to uh, I don't this, like this the intro strip club story. The first time okay. I took him to a strip club, I was there, wasn't I? Probably not. I think I was. You weren't. He wasn't. I was there. He was there. He's, he doesn't like it. He heard this like, "What's that noise?" It's like, "Oh, those are those cheeks over there clapping." He looked at him and went, "Wow!" <laughs> <laughs> like that's a real thing. Like that's what it's like. I, they never do the audio and the rap music. They just show it. You just know? get in the way. <laughs> I feel like we need to have, have an intervention for Jimmy. Is he uh, all right? He's deteriorating. Like his health has gone down. Sometimes people feel Let the man die. He want him to die? He wants to die. Look, Let him die. If he was on meth, we'd have an intervention for him. No, we wouldn't. That chick that he's with is, is on meth. Is meth. <laughs> she is meth. Man, she is a bad. She is a bad thing that's happened in his life and he needs to realize how bad So now that you know that my brother's on that. <laughs> well, that's, that actually brings up a good question. What do y'all guys do whenever uh, you got a buddy who's like, I don't know, she sucks. Like, uh, who? Oh, uh, buddy? He's, he, the friend is dating somebody that everybody should like, see, you're, you're seeing she's poisoned. Yeah. Oh, we clown on them. Oh. Do we clown on them? Yeah. We clown, no, we clown I, on I, Jimmy I, all the time. Okay, no. I'm that guy that, hey, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. But this is not good for you, dude. Uh, let me tell you the reasons. Let me tell you the reasons, and then whatever. All right, it's done. Yeah. And I'm just straightforward. I'm that guy. No, you are not. Okay, when have you're you, around, yes. Have you heard when something? Everybody else, when everybody's around, yes, I'm gonna let, make him feel like shit. All right, we're leaving now. But have you heard some of the me shit you said when we'd have get no, together? No, I don't hear. I say, can you hear? Me? Can you hear? Me? It's going hey. out this way, not this. Way. <laughs> but it doesn't go out this way. The no words don't boomerang. That's what I'm saying. That is this is why you record you, me you clown on it. so that I cannot listen later. <laughs> God damn it! Cry okay. oh, Yeah, that's how we deal with our problems. Oh, what about you? What do you mean? So what? Do, what do you think? Well, what, you didn't answer the question. He asked the question. Oh, you said he just clowns them. Oh, that's yeah. your answer for real. I mean, I just yeah. try to be. You don't uh, try I, to do something. I think it just uh, maybe what? a little bit here and there. For me, I think it just depends on the severity of the situation. Look, we have a friend, and he tells us he doesn't like being married. And what we do, or what has been done, or said, is like, stop bitching about her. Nobody wants to hear you bitch about her. Why is my voice that deep? I don't talk like I'm that. I'm not saying you. Okay, but it was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I said that, though, so. <laughs> gotcha. See? Somebody knows what's going on. No, but that's 
whatever. That's what I say. But before I say that is my advice. Look, man, you're not going to like what I have to say. Mm -hmm. But this, this, and that, and this. Bam. But yeah, after a while, after you say that two times, and that's my goddamn limit. If I have to say it the third time, I'm fucking killing you first. Nah, yeah, that's a lie. But whatever. But yeah, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to start making fun of you because you're coming to me with the same bullshit and I already told you the fucking, yeah. the fucking deal. This is what you should do. You, first off, you should want to be happy. And if you don't want to be happy, you like being miserable, obviously, because you're still miserable. Right. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to start making fun of you. I'm sorry. Yeah, after the, after the, the, the talk. After a couple of times, it's like, yeah, the dude, shut like, the fuck sure, up. Yeah. I'm tired of hearing this shit. Yeah, Don't no. tell somebody who cares, because you already know what I'm going to say. Yeah, that's definitely the, the situation that it, I had with my brother for like a while. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh, like, there was this girl. Well, I would openly clown him. Like, everyone in my family just openly clown this man. <laughs> and, and he just doesn't get it? No, he does. Okay. He's so. fully open. He's like, oh, yeah, no, I, I don't like him. There's a specific reason that I'm talking to him. <laughs> you know, uh, oh, and that's an understanding. Yeah. Uh, when I had a certain girlfriend, and there was a reason why I was with that girlfriend, and people would be like, "Dude, what are you doing with her?" I'm like, this is temporary, and I'm letting <laughs> you know. You can go tell her if you want. <laughs> this is temporary. Listen, Understand that my nuts are heavy, right? I'm just trying to fix that. I'm busting a lot of nuts. Not enough. Don't obviously. worry about it, <sighs> and it's gonna resolve. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. and it did. Stuff like that happens. We've all had, we've all gone through stuff like that, though. I suppose so. Yeah. I mean, I always ask. I mean, if I see it being toxic, I always, hey man, what are you doing? And if somebody told, like I say, if somebody said, hey man, it's just temporary. I'm just having some fun. Oh, dude, well, my bad. I don't mean to interrupt. Bust your goddamn nuts, cause right. goddamn it, I want to bust my nuts too. Yeah, we all just trying to live our best lives. Yeah. I'm a little bubby. Well, uh, we got a couple more minutes. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, more anime? More uh, I could, I guess. Um, size shoes? No, I think I wear size shopping. 11. What A732 <laughs> stands for? A77. Uh, Dope Boys of America area code. I, this is a hand me down shirt. Or My sweater. Area codes are not A732. They're like, what's the only three digits? Missing two numbers. I am. Six. Yes. It's, um. Area code? It's something. Oh, it's, that's right. Zip something code. in relation no, to. Code. Oh, area code is three. Area code is yeah. That's that's three. Phone number? No. Yeah, the area code. No, what it's area code? it's some kind of code for Dope Boys of America. It's this like rapper thing uh, that I'm not too sure about. This is me the equivalent of me oh, wearing a misfit being poser. shirt. Yes, it's me being a poser. I have no idea what this is about, um, but I like, like. Of course, I'm I know. More. I know what this is all about. Well, I just like this because hey, this hoodie's comfortable as hell, and plus it's very minimalistic, which I like. It's just numbers. And this shirt cool. gives me a rash, but I will wear it because I wear it with rash? pride, my nipples. Did I get you that shirt? Mm-hmm. Yes, you did. Thank oh, you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, got it for me. Give him a rash. Oh, I'm, yeah, even, it's the, I'm even happier the that I gave it to him now. Yeah, that's. <laughs> God damn it. That shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it doesn't give me a rash. I love Rick and Morty. It's fucking hilarious. Um, I don't know. I think I'm potential. Or, uh,. There's just something I wanted to mention because it, it made me laugh. Uh, the other day at uh, Hyenas, mm-hmm. uh, that Valentine show. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a Valentine show? Not, I guess it was just a normal Thursday comedy show. It it on oh, it was on Valentine's, Valentine's Day, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, First off, that was Struggle City. Yeah, uh, it was. That was. They were was. all making out in the. Well, no, it, it was, was a guy drum, dry humping in how, the corner. How, how was it set? Well, so that's here's the thing. I'll, I'll I'll talk about my set in a sec, but like it was devastating. Scene. Like the room was packed. There were so many fucking people in that room, and that many I, people couldn't get a reservation. Well, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but the moment that the show was over, like ninety eight percent of them left. They went to go bang. Yeah, they exactly. And I didn't do that math. I was like, oh man, we're gonna get all those people. No, I never and it's like, that. oh, they fuck. I forget. They people weren't fuck. attention. People yeah. fuck. Yeah. Of course. No, it's always like that. People, for the open mics on Thursday. And these were on the floor as you were walking Usually, out. like, out of those 212, 20 people that are in the showroom, when they leave, maybe about 15 stay, and then, like, the rest of them are all comics. Well, I mean, it, yeah. sometimes we get, like, like, there was a night to where I was second block, um, and I got, like, a good amount of people and, like, good response, and it was awesome. But on a night like this, I went up there and died. Uh, did you do a new set or the usual? 
It's it's the, who brought you back to life? Nobody. Oh, um, damn it. I was boyfriend. there. Dead. I wasn't Peters. there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't there something where like blow on the penis and they <laughs> came up? <laughs> oh, <my God>. Um. <laughs> um <laughs> Airplane. airplane, yeah, I love airplane. Why did you guns me? Because it was a good movie. <laughs> it was just light me up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I should I, I do this next time? I was doing the bit to where, like, and I try to gauge like how well I'm doing. Like, I'll start with like you know like uh, I'm bisexual, uh, but I look like this, so I get my dick. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> Uh, no, it doesn't. And, like, normally that does well, so it's like, okay, that's a good starter. It but, sucks, like, no, it doesn't because you get no dick? Yeah, it's, uh, it <laughs> does But, um, but, yeah, I, and I go through my bit, and there are, like, little things that I try to do to make sure that they're going to like the other stuff. Yeah. But this one, they, they tricked me. Because, like, I had that first part, and they laughed. And I was like, dope. And then I talked about, um, oh, what the fuck is it? Uh, I try to do little gay things. Um, like, I'll, like, I'll swivel in my stool. Like, I'm waiting for my man to come out of the bathroom and treat me right. Uh, I don't or... get that one. Well, so, it's, like, the the or the the or core of it is, like, doing, like, weird, like, effeminate shit to, to make dudes think that I you... guess the effeminate shit is that you actually have a chair that swivels. Oh, man. Stool swivel. You got a swiveling chair, man. You're like, dick? Hmm? There's definitely a dick underneath this chair. It, it, can you turn? Yeah, I guess I could. Uh, there you go, man. But it's an office chair. I'd call it an office chair. Yeah, man, but the stool that we have on stage can swivel. Oh, you sat on it. Yes. Actually, I'm used to wooden stools. I see a lot of wooden stools and those don't swivel. So anyway. What did I I mean, so, yeah, so uh, doing uh, the, 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 the core of it is just, you know, I do like a feminine stuff to make sure dudes will, will know that I don't uh, like pussy, right? Um, and normally that does well for the most part. Like, there are some things I know will hit. Like, it's like I, I sit down when I pee at urinals. Yeah. Um, that's funny. Like, yeah, the like that works. That's urinals. funny. Hey, you ever seen those uh, shits in the urinal? Oh my god! And, thank God and, no. <laughs> thank God I have. Why is that a common thing in my head of my <laughs> elementary school? <laughs> it's like I'd no, always man. walk into the fucking. If there'd be shit in there, it's like, oh, that's hilarious. No, fortunately. Nobody thinks that's funny. <laughs> no, that's funny. It's, it's hilarious. I'm glad I've never seen that. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong. It's like, oh, my God, I can't believe. But who has the balls to, to go in there and you. shit? And you're like, Some clown, man. <laughs> Stealthy it's dude. Janitor. It's on the same it's level. The janitor. It's on, no, that's it's the, the, <laughs> it's on the same works. level as that kid that went up to the urinal and just said, fuck it. Full blow butt cheeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> butt cheeks out. Clenched. <laughs> Letting it go. Oh man, yeah, that takes a while. I have a son, and I always taught him to like just pull his penis out. He doesn't have to take down his whole pants to use the bathroom. It's easier just to no, it's yeah. not. Yeah, dude. That's... That is the laugh for the other person. He's a comedian, and let him make other people laugh by showing his cheeks. Yeah. But no, I uh, he fucked up his friend okay, getting. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so percentage. I did, I did that, and that went over relatively well, but. I started losing him, uh-huh. and I was like, uh oh, I don't know if this next part's gonna work because it was relatively new stuff. I've done it three times. It was relatively new. Uh, it was this bit where I talk about how um, women should not be the first to engage uh, when it comes to like dating, not because of any archaic rules of engagement, but because they never expect dudes to be that fucking dumb. Like they always set the bar like too high for like, like oh maybe if I'll do this, then he'll pick up on the idea that I want to have sex with him. It's like no, never <laughs> ever. Has that ever worked out? No, it doesn't. So when I do that, I expect the laughter to come from, uh, come from ladies or for just people in general, right? But it was from one guy on my right, and I was like, uh oh. I've already said this. I don't know if I can take a big hard left. Let me maybe maybe this story will work. So then I talk about how there was this girl, who really tried to seduce me, but because of how dumb I am, I didn't pick it up. I was over at a pool in Austin, and she wanted to play, she asked if I wanted to play chicken, and I was like, yeah, sure, I love games. She got on my shoulders, and she started, like, messing with my hair, and in my mind, I'm just like, hey, focus up, we're gonna win this game, let's go. And her friends clearly weren't trying to win, they were just trying to get their friend laid, and I'm like, roll with the hips, you know what I mean? Like, just really get in there, like, focus up, so on and so forth. You got too competitive. I'm super competitive. So, and- I mean, it's wit. No, I'm, and it's a win. Hey, I'm the same and, way. And this girl's just trying to, you know... Stop fucking around! Yeah, she's trying, trying to, to win. convince me to, like... How was the first thought on, in your head when she asked you that, that her pussy's gonna be, like, right on your neck? Exactly, How right? How was that the first that's, thought in your head? That's part of the business, like, that's for the, most dudes. That's the thing about chicken, like... 
If the chick's on your thing, she's trying to bang you. Yeah. Right. She's Reasonably. literally banging you. Yeah, she is. Normal right. people would think this. On my competitive ass, is oh, like, I'm going to win. I was 21. Yeah, your okay. dick should have been straight hard. Dumb. Yes. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Your dick like, that's the, been that's the full fun throttle. part of the story. Like, she was giving me an, an, a dumb amount of signs. Yeah, you're gay. Playing with my hair, telling me how cute I was. And I was like, shut the hell up. Let's play this fucking game. I'm trying to win. Okay? <laughs> my dick's not even hard yet. Shut <laughs> up. We got to win this shit. Uh, we inevitably win, right? Because I don't lose. And <laughs> I let go of her because I feel I like let go or I guess kind of like loosen in yeah. my grip because I didn't want to be the guy to be like the creepy dude who's like, I'm not letting go of you until you say something. Uh -huh. So I was like, I'll just let go. And I hear like a splash behind me. She fell in the water. It's uh -huh. so, like fully submerged. I turn around. I'm like, ooh, that sucks. But she gets back up. She wasn't trying to get fully submerged? Mm -hmm. How do you get in the pool and not expect to get fully submerged? No, in the sense to where like she was on my back and she Fell in the pool. Yeah. From my back. Um, Is that the best way to get off somebody's back, though? Well, you could crouch down and let them get off of you. Oh, you're trying to be a gentleman. Yeah, I'm not a gentleman. No. That, Full that's, that's, she's doing a backflip while she's going. Bah! See, that's the thing. That's what I did accidentally. <laughs> oh. That's what I did accidentally, because I was like, you don't want me to, you know, I guess, be weird about this. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool game. It's nice hanging out with y'all. And I walk away, and she's like, oh, my name. Hey, by the way. I was like, huh? She's like, my name's Brittany. I didn't hear that. So I was like, what? She was like, never mind. She walks away. Like, she clearly she, annoyed. she gave up. She's like, I got a dildo. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's like, I'm sick. And like, the the pinnacle of this is just like, I my pussy was on your neck. How the fuck did you not read all of the signs I gave you? Fuck it. I'm done. I'm sick of this. Right? I got That's to that part cool. and it was just crickets. And I was like, I will yeah. die on this cross. Sometimes scenes don't Thank you work. very much. The crowd's always Well, add that part. I gotta do it all live Did later. You see, <laughs> maybe. Did you see my set? Yeah, I saw Horrible. part of it. Yeah. Horrible. That yeah. guy lied to me. I said, I asked the question, I was like, have you, now how many times have you had to hide the fact that you're whacking from your wife? Like, how many times did she come home too early? You're like, oh shit, I can't whack like I thought so. He's like, Never. Like you lying, yeah. Son that's of a everybody's bitch. done that. Every guy's yeah, done that. Everybody's and done that. And with that, that is the episode of the UNG Odyssey podcast oh, for this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have to stop this. We're time. getting time. to <laughs> hiding, masturbating. That's my favorite topic. Um, thank okay. you guys. Um, uh, thank you, Jacoby. You wanna um. Plug any kind of Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube. The video. only thing I post on my Instagram is stuff of my cat. Uh, that's fine. So you can oh, find guy. me at Salted Anime, um, or Salted Lightly anime. Seasoned Anime. You or can follow me. Anime. Yeah, Lightly Seasoned Anime on Instagram. Lightly Seasoned Anime on uh, Twitter. Uh, Lightly Seasoned Anime. Yeah. Uh, Lightly Seasoned Anime on Tumblr as well. Um, but because of the you yeah, know the purge. Tumblr. Yeah, because of the porn band, my icons all blurry. Not that I post porn; it's not something that I do. It's just that like adult content yeah. is Tumblr is porn. It has a lot. Used to past tense. Apparently, I found out too late. No. Tumblr has porn. What is Tumblr? Tumblr was? It used to. I'm all interested about porn. No, it, uh, it used no? to. Oh, um, and Sorry. then last but... plug, uh, BF, yeah. uh, Crimes of Isaac. Uh, he makes good art. So that's all I want to say. Cool, cool. Um, any shows coming up? Yeah, uh, Monday, Mad Hatter, and Tin Panther, if I can get on early enough. No, but those uh, are open mics, like show shows, showcases or anything like that? No. No? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I've been doing this since November. You think I got shit going on? Well, you could. I mean, I've I appreciate had five showcases so far. Did you say that earlier? I think it's three I months. Once again, that. this is why I say it's since yeah. November. Um, <laughs> well, I don't have any shows coming up either. I haven't talked to Butch about any showcases. Uh, what else? Um, I don't have anything going on. Next week, guest is uh, TJ... Oh, no, TJ Aurelio. Do you know TJ? TJ Aurelio? Yeah, Aurelio. Yeah. TJ Aurelio. He'll be here for the podcast next week. It's going to be interesting because he apparently is having a hard time with comedy. It seemed like quitting. Mm. I didn't say that. Uh, what's the word you're supposed to say? Allegedly. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Uh, sorry for the people who are watching on YouTube that our camera is dark on one side. We will see what we can do about fixing that later on. To the dark side. But you can always hear it out. Yes. Um, catch us on iTunes and Spotify. And we do have a YouTube channel. Um, you, All of them. Is, YouTube is UG Odyssey. Everything else is UNG Odyssey. Um, and you can catch us on there. Thank you. Uh, subscribe, please, to our YouTube channel and whatever. All right, bye. Don't.